Takashi's Challenge. Yeah, we could have played that. <laughs> hey, we might play that tomorrow, K-Fight. Kabuki Quantum Fighter. We might start that tomorrow. I like starting a new game on a first playthrough, like right at the beginning of a stream. But we have extra time today, so we're going to play this. This is worse than Pitfall 2 on the Atari, yes. JSR, you like this game. Okay, we'll see. I kind of like this game, too. Despite the jank of it, I owned this as a kid. I beat it with, like, an unlimited lives code. I'm not happy with that. I, I want to beat it for real. I'm not accepting that childhood nonsense. What did I just say? Nothing, Wolf. Nothing. Nothing! I'm bad. That's what. Oh, are we doing another poll? Okay, great. Keep in mind, for you guys that are... Uh, voting on this. I did own this one as a kid, but still, it's really hard. There aren't any other NES games. I think I would say the Atari 2600 soundtrack is better than the NES soundtrack. That's correct, Gray Foxy. 100%. Pitfall 2 is a better game than this. Even if it's on Atari, it does not matter. There'll be no tomorrow stream. You're going to kill your throat on this. Yee, yeah, that's what you think. <laughs> ah, that's what you think. Get this two believers to win twice a day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're going to do it. Thank you, Photon. What's up, Photon? Welcome in. How you doing today? Hope you're doing good. We're going to figure this one out. I have an idea of what to do. <laughs> I really do. Let's get going. Let's get started. It's going to take several runs to get it right, I'm sure. And we're going to need to get extra lives. There's going to be a lot to do with this. And that's okay. That's okay. I did grow up with this janky game, so see, I know we're hidden. things are hidden everywhere. We gotta shoot frogs with a pistol. There's all kinds of nutty stuff going on in this game. And here's some of the, there's some dumb things about this game too. He can randomly just fall off the ladders. I really hated that as a kid. Oh my god, I can't control this after playing Dragon's Lair. I have no idea how to control this. None whatsoever. <laughs> Greg, what's up? You gotta bounce me back in a bit? No problem, man. Hope you're having a good one. You've never beat this without the... Oh, you've never done it without speedrun strats, JSR. Interesting. And I've never done it with speedrun strats, so this will be quite the interesting playthrough. I, ha I have a couple of ideas for shortcuts and stuff, but here's the problem. I don't really, like, remember a whole lot. It's gonna take me a bit to, like... Recover what I've lost with this game. Hopefully it won't take too long. The controls in this are very jank, by the way. Not quite as jank as Dragon's Lair, but pretty jank in their own way. Witch, welcome in. Yes, it's done. It is done. Oh, crap, I gotta change the box art. That's right, hold up. Witch, how you doing today? Yeah, just beat Dragon's Lair. Apparently all I needed was a break from it. I had to refresh my, uh, my own mind. All right, where's the box art for this? It's right there, and there it is. Super. The, the box art for this is kind of good, but it, it, it's a, uh, it, it looks better than the game, I can tell you that much. All right, this is going to... I'm going to list this as a first playthrough because I, beating a game with cheats doesn't count. And I did that when I was like 12 or something. All right, this is a first playthrough. This is going to be a super pitfall. Gotta update all this stuff in Twitch, or somebody will come in and go, Hey, Mixer, this is not Dragon's Lair. You're supposed to be playing Pitfall. Thank you for the hype train, guys. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Witch, how you doing today? Welcome in. We're playing another jank game, though. Super Pitfall. Pretty jank. All right, there's hidden stuff, like, all over the place. You have to jump and uncover hidden items. That's the only way you're going to make progress in this. All right, kill the frog. Yeah, I'm shooting frogs with a, with a gun. You guys are going to be... You, when you look for hidden keys and stuff, they're, they're hidden, like, in the walls and stuff like that. You have to jump and touch random spots to get the items you need to appear. And right now, I'm not finding anything. <laughs> I'm finding nothing and hoping for the best. Ah! All right, is there anything hidden up here? We gotta look around! <laughs> Got him! Super Pitfall belongs on Super Nintendo. There's Pitfall on Genesis, it's good. The Mayan Adventures, I remember. I watched Rat play that. It looked good, too. I have no idea what I'm looking for here. None whatsoever. I gotta remember where stuff's hidden. That's like the first step to doing anything with this game. We just gotta one-up, and that's good. 
don't think you go there. That snake looks so delighted. The graphics in this are really silly looking. Very cartoony. I just shot the snake. I'm looking for hidden keys and stuff. Once I get a plan about where we need to go, I think we can put it all together, but it's going to take me a bit to remember where I'm supposed to be. All right, we got to get as many lives as we can. Short circuit games. Grigori, what's up, man? God! God damn it, dude! It's not a good start. I got to have all the lives I can get my hands on. All the lives I can get. Is that spider going to respawn? It better not. Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, it, it does. All right, there's our first key. That's good. See, I, I remembered where that was. You need keys. You got to have keys in this game or you don't make progress. All right, that's going to give some points back. That skeleton thing, got to worry about that. If I drop down here, am I going to be okay? Nope. Nope! God! Okay, well, I know where a key is. <laughs> Pizza Pizza, welcome in. How you doing today? All right, we're off to a bad start. Big shock, right? Big shock. Not surprised. Why am I playing this? I don't know. I didn't know there was any short circuit games. Is that real or are you just making that up? Because that movie came out like before the Nintendo did, I think. All right, I'm, I think we need to go... Where, I'm trying to remember where I need to go. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to remember. It's been a long time. Music's not very good, I know. It's better than the Atari, if you can believe that. Think you're having too much fun here? I'm always having fun with jank games, you know me. This is so jank. <laughs> Look at... The, good lord, I can't go that way. This is so jank. It's worse than I remember, honestly. Right, there's a shortcut you can take by falling down right there, but I'm not going to do it because it costs a life to do that, and I, I would rather not. Five minutes in, makes are already expressing regret. I kind of am, because <laughs> I remember beating this with unlimited lives back in the day. So now I'm not getting to do that. All right. We got to get down to the bottom. I know that much. All right, hopefully I won't die if I fall here. <laughs> I'm taking a chance. Yeah, look how mazy this game is. You guys want a maze game? Well, this is the game for you then if you want to play in a maze. All right, so we're over here now. I think we're on the right track, if you can believe it. All right, what I'm going to go do here, I think there's a key I need to pick up, like, at the top of where the balloon is. I'm going to need that. All right, kill that. I, I don't think I can reach that from here. Are you going to golf this year? I don't think I'm going to, because I've never actually played that game before Piece of Pizza, and I think I would just embarrass myself. You know, i got to stick with games like Street Fighter. Games like Street Fighter is where I can actually fight competitively with other players. That golf game, I would be in last place. I would be the worst person in the tournament. Uh, maybe I'll practice, though, and try it anyway. <laughs> maybe I will. I, I would just embarrass myself with NES Open Golf. I want to be good at it, but I don't think I could be. I don't think it's possible. Uh-oh, I'm going I'm to be in trouble here. All right, the balloon's going to pop. There we go. No, you're not getting me. Nope, shoot him. Ah, oh, missed. All right. No, you're not getting me. Good shot. All right. All right, there's the next key we need. All right, see, I... I don't do that. All right, there we go. I think there's a one-up up here. If memory serves. Memory serves. All right. I wonder if you can get up there with a the balloon. <laughs> I would love to try that sometime. I, I tried that as a kid. I couldn't do it. That makes her god tier and have fun at the new Mario Golf game on Switch. There's a new Mario Golf game? <laughs> Not that I would know. I keep up with nothing new, k fight You know that. New stuff? Oh, never heard of it. I'm excited for Apra Slam. Ape, we need to do some practice runs and stuff. I will fight you anytime on Street Fighter Alpha. And we will have a good time. It will be good. Alright, that was successful. I'm looking for, like, anything that's going to help me here. <laughs> yeah, the Street Fighter Apra Slam tournament's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. So we're playing Street Fighter Alpha 3 for anybody that might want to join. Look up Apresend on Discord and join in. It'll be a good time. Hey, speaking of the devil, Proto, what's up, man? Welcome in. 
We just beat Dragon's Lair, dude. Now we're doing this. I, I made a decision to play this game for some reason. I have no idea why, because I think I might be able to beat it. Why are you just randomly falling off the ladder? That is jank. Holy God, he just randomly falls. All right, well, that bat could have ended my life right there, but it didn't. Proto, how you doing today, man? Great run on Batman. Great, great run. I'm going to take a chance here and just jump down here. All right, I made it. Don't hit me, please. All right. <laughs> You didn't beat Dragon Slayer Mix, you didn't do Loop 2. There was no Loop 2, and you know it. There was no Loop 2. Nothing happened. I hit start it. The game was locked up. It's a soft lock when you beat the game. Nice try, Gad. Goofy music, goofy protagonist, goofy level design. This game is goofy. It looks like Luigi with like a mining hat on, right? <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. I know it looks like we're not making any progress here, but we actually are. If you can believe it, because I picked up a couple of keys. And there's, there's a lot of work to be done with this. But, we're on the right track. This is what I was hoping would happen. But I have died twice already, so that's not good at all. These vines are really jank. Those don't even look like vines, do they? I can't believe I bought this game when I was a kid. Why did I buy this? It was very out of character. And I would normally never buy something this bad. It makes no sense at all. Alright, there's snakes and frogs and all kinds of bull crap here. Shoot them. Nope, that was a bad shot. There's gotta be... If there's a, Yeah, I see. I, I kind of remember where stuff is. Alright, we got the gun there. I'm trying to remember what I need to do next. What do I need to do? Luigi trying to play poker. Cool cover. The cover's kind of nice. Proto, I hope you're having a nice spring break. I know you're enjoying that quite a bit. Getting away from the kids at school, my goodness. Shadow Dread, how you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good one. I'm looking for, like, hidden stuff. I'm looking for hidden stuff. I don't remember where stuff is. Is there anything over here? More than likely, no. All the keys and stuff are hidden. It's the biggest search fest you'll ever see in your life. Like I said, I did play it when I was a kid. I have a rough idea of kind of what I need to be doing here. Alright, so I found a couple of keys already. That Do not fall off the ladder. Please do not fall off the ladder. He randomly just drops off. It's so dumb. Alright, I don't know if I need to be over here or not, but I'm going to go exploring. It's probably a terrible idea. Why am I stuck in the ground? Holy crap, what a glitchy game. <laughs> it's so glitchy. I don't know if I can go back. Might have been a one-way trip here. Oh, I can go back, all right. Ah, I don't remember, dude. I just don't remember. It's been way too long. It's just been too long. Okay, there's a one-up right there. I knew something was around here. <laughs> Oh, great. There's another happy snake. Alright, I think I need to get rid of that. Get off the ladder, please. Thank you. That, see? That, I, I remember where some of this crap is. I remember! There's a lot more to do, though. Don't, don't get excited. We got a long freaking way to go with this game. Don't you fall off the ladder. Don't you dare. There's no reason to do it. No! Got him! Alright, good shot. And another gun. Alright, see, we're in good shape. Alright, where do I need to be? Where do I need to be? <laughs> this season, this should have been on Super Nintendo, right? So super about this pitfall, not very much. It's a pretty jank game, but there's worse out there. There's definitely worse. See, if you don't really know where you're going in this game, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> but just by judging how mazy this is, I think I forgot to get something up here, by the way. Hold up. I got to go back. I'm, I'm trying really hard to remember this. Because you pretty much only get one shot to get all the items. Freaking mess!
Night Sprite, what's up, man? Welcome back. How'd your dinner go? Yeah, we're playing Super Pitfall. <laughs> it's so jank, dude. Way more jank than I remember it being. I do not remember what's here. Is there anything up here? I gotta search everywhere. Nothing there, right? Nope. Coach and Chill, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Welcome to another jank game. It's jank. <laughs> Is there anything over here? I, I want to say there was something over here. I just don't remember where it was. I knew it! We needed that. Okay, now where? Can I drop down here? Yes, I'm scared to drop down anywhere because there's a bunch of blind jumps. Lord Awesome, what's going on? Miss notification? Oh, well, what's up, Mixer? You just missed us beating Dragon's Lair on the NES, man. It was a hell of a run. I can't believe it actually happened. It happened way too fast. If you can, okay, I don't have a key for that. Where I don't even know where I am. Lord Awesome, how you doing today, man? Hoss Bags, what's up? Another good stream, another terrible game. I kind of like this game. <laughs> as janky as this is, I kind of like this game. Because I had it growing up and I beat it with cheats, but I kind of want to beat it the real way, which would be not cheating. How you doing today, man? Welcome in. Thank you, Proto. Don't try Deathless Run of that. I know you like challenges, but you're my friend and I don't want to see you suffer. You, you might suffer on a Deathless Run of that! <laughs> oh, that bird's a teleporter! Watch this. Can you believe it? Can you freaking believe it? The bird is a teleporter. <laughs> Who saw that coming? I remember finding that as a kid being like, holy shit, did that happen? Yep, that happened. All right, we gotta look for like, this is just like a bonus area where you can get some points and one ups and stuff. We're gonna need them for the stretch run. We're replacing Bubsy on point spending. Yeah, I'll come up with something else. I'll come up with something. You want some ocarina maybe? Nah, you don't want that. Of course not. You don't want Ocarina. Oh, I just got something! I don't even know what that was! I don't know what I just got. <laughs> wasn't even looking. Alright, don't hit me. Don't you dare. Gotcha. Alright, how do you hell you get out of here? This is like a bonus area. Was a one-up? Okay. Dark Souls! That'd be one of the worst possible games for me. <laughs> you know how I feel about 3D? It was a one up. Oh, it was an eyeball thing. Okay, that was a one up then. Yep, you guys are right. That's the jank you were expecting from a bird in this game. I know, right? If you've seen Angry Video Game Nerd episode on this game, you will recognize some stuff, all right? I'm out of the bird teleport. I'm kind of on the right track here, if you can believe it. I gotta think about what I need to do next, though. I gotta think about the next move. We gotta go, like, up the middle area and unlock a door or something. I'm trying to remember. Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. How much do you... How much do you hate me, Goten? Let, seriously, how much do you hate me? <laughs> that would actually be a great jank game. It really would be. <laughs> it's so bad. I remember watching Chulk play it a while back. He didn't actually hate it all that much. Somehow he hated Holy Diver more. What the heck? I don't know how that didn't hit me. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't hit me, but I'm not complaining. All right, and we're going to go... Uh, I don't know where we're going, actually. I have no idea. Look at all these enemies. My God. All right, we're going to go back to the bottom. I was not ready to get off yet. Just get the frog out of here. Birds are here. Birds are... Yes, birds are here. If you like birds, you might be in the right spot. You know what, I'm gonna mark down, I'm gonna, no, I can't really draw a map, this place is too big. It's way too big. Dark Souls original is retro by now. That'll be modern to me 80 years from now, Chaucer. Th that's still modern to me. <laughs> that will always be, oh my god, I missed a jump, uh oh. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is like in the middle, yeah, we gotta go up the middle section here if we're gonna get the first. Well, okay, we're about to start the first objective for this game. Fox, what's up, Fox? How you doing today? Welcome in. J.I., what's going on? Birds are consistently assholes in NES games. Yes, sir. 100% agree. If there's a bird around, it's more than likely gonna screw you over some way, somehow. 
Could you guys imagine me playing Dark Souls? I sure can't. <laughs> it just does. It's just not me. <laughs> it just isn't me whatsoever. I, I can't even uh, thinking about it feels weird. All right, are we on the right? Yeah, we got to use one of our diamond keys here. All right, good. Oh, I remember how terrible this is. <laughs> These, if you get hit and touch the waterfall, it pushes you through the floor, by the way. It makes a whole lot of sense. Right, this is actually going better than it should right now. All right, you gotta wait for that to go by. We're rolling along nicely. Watch out for the bat that, for some reason, spawned in the wrong spot. All right, anything hidden here? Don't know. How am I gonna get past this? Is there, not, is there enough time? I don't know if there's enough time to run under that. Chakan is better play that one. I will play that one. Stellar, you have my word. We will play Chakan at some point. I'm looking forward to it, honestly. It looks cool. It's a weird game. It's got unlimited lives. You don't expect that from Genesis, do you? Or retro games in general. It's all about the challenge of that game. More so than anything else. Alright, I do not know what I'm looking for here. Alright, gotta dodge that. I know there's glitches and stuff in this game where you can skip most of the game. I don't know how to do that. I did see a video of it a long time ago. I just lost my only spade key, so that's probably not good. We're going to have to find another one at some point. Good freaking lord, look at this. <laughs> I didn't get hit by it somehow. Alright, well that's good. The Bat and Spike reminds me of Sonic. Jaja83, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good day. Good to have you here. Definitely gonna play Chakan. Definitely gonna do that. How you doing today, Jaja? Welcome in. All right, I'm being patient here. All right, that worked. There's another warp bird around here somewhere. We gotta find that. I don't remember exactly where it was, but I know it's around here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't remember that. <laughs> Somehow that did not kill me. All right. We're still going. Is there any? I don't see any hidden stuff here. Jump over it. Yes, sir. All right. That might be the bird I'm looking for down there. Actually, I don't remember. That might not be it. I don't remember. <laughs> I do not remember. That would be a good thing to remember. All right. No! God! <laughs> oh, my God, dude. WHY AM I PLAYING THIS?! I don't even remember where that was. <laughs> How do I get back to that? Glove, I do hate myself. Adopt what's going on. Welcome in. God. Yeah, that really happened, didn't it? That really happened. Wow! Look at what the one actually developed by Pony Inc. is like instead of this Micronics crap. I'll have to look at that. Let me save that for later. Gwen, what's going on, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? <laughs> it's quite the quite the fall we just had. I'm gonna save that and look at that later. Thank you, Zuki. I will have a look at that for sure in a while. A new challenge for me? What is it, K Fi? Do I even want to know? Gwen, how's it going today, man? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing laundry and all of a sudden I hear, why am I playing this? I just fell like 50 stories, which it was really dumb. <laughs> no surprise. I've done, it, I've done that a million times before playing this godforsaken game. Shoot the snake. What? The bullet went through the snake. <laughs> it's so jake, dude. All right, they, they let me shoot him that time, then he falls off the ladder. Now the sound's broken in the game. <laughs> Look, now that I'm jumping and it's not making any noise because it glitched out. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Shouldn't a bullet go through a snake? And go, yeah, but it should die. It didn't die. That's the problem. <laughs> 
Snakes are bulletproof. Apparently in this janky game they are. I missed a jump again. The snake respawn shooting stuff is just like almost pointless. You get you, you do get points though. Ryan, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Two games at the same time. One joystick in one hand, one in the other. Dual game, Gradius one and two at the same. No, no. Nope, nope. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go ahead and refuse, K Fight. You know better than that. Gradius, really? Of all the things you could have come up with for a challenge run, you had to do something with Gradius. You do really hate me. You absolutely hate my guts. You know what? I'll give you a Gradius challenge. Gradius 3, one credit clear. I'll give you that one. How about that? Is that acceptable? That's more than acceptable. Gradius 3 is actually kind of tolerable. Gradius 2 is the worst video game ever made. Change my mind. Oh, you can't. You can't change my mind. That's right. All right, don't get hit by the waterfall again or we'll go all the way back to the bottom. I'm going to have to deal with all this jank again. Stupid, idiotic waterfall. All right, I still got 39. You have limited ammo, by the way. Gradius, more like Grady ass, I know, right? I can't stand Gradius. I hate it. Gradius 3 is decent, though. It is decent. That's why I kind of am okay with trying to play it again. I beat it, but I didn't do a one credit clear. I didn't enjoy it at all. I haven't had that one as a kid, and I still didn't like it. I couldn't beat it then. I barely beat it on stream. All right, the yeah, that's gonna fall. All right, I can't fall again, dude. It can't happen again. Just be patient, and you're gonna make it. There you go. See, look how janky the water looks. That's so dumb. I feel bad for you playing this because I know how trolly this gets. I, I beat this as a kid. I had this game as a kid, Ryan, and I beat it with a cheat code where you could get unlimited lives. And that doesn't really count because I probably died like 5,000 times or something. So, yeah, we're going to beat it with no cheat codes. It's going to be a one credit clear, no continues, none of that stuff. So I'm hoping for the best here. All right, where's the warp? There's the warp bird, by the way. There's the warp bird. Come here. Yes, sir. All right, see? I know what I'm talking about with this jank. Good shot. All right, we're gonna we're here to farm lives, basically. That's the the only reason to be here is to get points and get some lives. I'm gonna need everything I can get my hands on. I do have a decent supply of lives right now. Jumping is really hard to control sometimes. All right, so plenty of points, plenty of lives. <gasps> You know what would be a cool challenge? Arcade Outrun for a chill challenge stream and super hang on if you beat it. Outrun? Really? I like Outrun. They had it in K-Fight. They had it in a grocery store when I was a kid. I don't think I can make that jump. I'm not even going to try that one. No! Good shot. Outrun's really cool. I like that game a lot. Old school Sega driving game. I'm a fan. Points give you lives. They do in this one, Proto. Yes, sir. And they are important. You're going to need everything you can get your hands on lives-wise in this game. I'm on the right track here. I'm actually doing fairly well, despite the couple of deaths I've taken. All right, now i got to find the remember how to get out of here, because I sure don't remember. I drop down there. I'm more than likely going to die. Out running a grocery store would have been so dope. They had that, Excite Bike, and Quartet in the grocery store. And what it, they had some kung fu game as well. It was also good. But yeah, I in Kroger grocery store when I was a kid. God! I can't waste lies on stupid crap. That's what that is. Stupid crap right there. I'm here to farm lives, not lose them. How do you get out of here? I have no idea. I don't remember. There's a, there's a secret exit somewhere in this area. And I gotta keep looking for it because I have no idea where it is. We'll get there though. Yeah, I found the way out. I died. There's an indie game called Night of the Consumers where you're stocking boy in a store and you have to dodge customers while stocking items in a store. Sounds kind of realistic, like if you're working at the, the graveyard shift at Walmart or something. <laughs> I guess that would be kind of similar. Quartet was a good early four player co op, Ridge Sega original. I love that game. That game's great. Love Quartet. I bet a lot of people... Who else has heard of Quartet? I know Gray Foxy has. Who else knows what we're talking about? 
quartet in the arcade. It's a really cool run and gun shooter that four people can play at the same time. Very unique game. Probably not many people are going to remember that one. I liked it a lot though. I was almost too young to play it. I was just, I was like six or seven years old then. All right, run for your life, Luigi or whoever the hell you are. Let's go. They're gonna be power ups here or something. Sailor Moon Arcade is a good one, Mendel. Really hard too. I messed around with it off stream once. I was like, wow, this is not easy. This is difficult. All right, by the way, we, it's going to be like Jump King here. We're going to fall, and I'm going to lose all my progress unless I'm extremely careful coming up here. I do remember this part. Yeah, you can't miss a jump here. You can't miss any jumps. Oh, boy, look at this. Good. 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 All right, I made it. Quartet Arcade's a good game, but from Sega Master System, I'm not a fan. I have it. We could try it on Sega Master System. I'm not sure if it's good or not, but I would I would like to try. All right, there's going to be a Gradius head thing here. Yep. Yeah, straight out of Gradius. Who's played Gradius knows what the hell I'm talking about. I'm sure that would be a decent amount of people. There's our first objective, by the way. We just, we just completed objective number one with this game, and let's get that diamond right there. There's three things you have to do to beat this game. Get that diamond, get the uh, key, which opens the door to save your animal friend. I forgot his name. It's Quick Claw or something. And then you have to save Pitfall's niece named Rhonda or something. So that's the objectives we're working on. If you don't know where you're going, good luck. I spent many hours on this as a kid, so I, like I said, I kind of have an idea. Right, I think you have to... <gasps> yeah, I don't see it. I forgot, dude. That guy, yes, J yes, Gray Foxy, that guy. Moa Heads, yep, there you go, Bizarro Foxy, that's it. You know what I'm talking about. See, I don't remember everything about this game. I'm going to die here and there. Tried Gradius 1 this week, the NES Advantage, it was pretty hard. The problem with it is you get no continues, and if you die in a bad spot, the game's pretty much over. That's my problem with the Gradius series. Auto and Sega Master System Quartet is painful in the ears to me, at least. Like, arcade level, Atari level ear piercing. I'll have to play it. I don't think I've ever even tried it before. Oh, I remember this! Wow, I made it. <laughs> How about that? That was lucky. All right, now what? More jumping, okay. I'm fine. I'm good. All right, don't really remember what to do with this. I just not get hit, I think, would be the, the, the way to go here. Not getting hit. Nice. Okay. I got burned. I did. I didn't know that was going to be there. I had no clue. I forgot. Is there anything worth getting up here? I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I think the key is up ahead, actually. Never mind. Now that I come to think about it, I think we're back on the right track again. Like I said, I kind of know where I'm going with this game. Maybe a little bit. It's going to be not running out of lives is going to be the problem. Alright, well, I made it again. Alright, there's going to be another Gradius, three, Gradius head thing here. Alright, where are you? I know you're here. That thing will scare the life out of you on a first playthrough. You won't have a clue. I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm dead. And dead! Alright, good. Nice. Another life gone. Raze, what's up? I love this game site, like the awful music and the glitches played it for hours upon hours as a kid with no freaking clue what to do. You and me both. <laughs> you and me both. I have no idea how to get past this. Raze, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I guess it doesn't respawn good. <laughs> I guess that's not going to be a thing. There's the key we need. That's another objective to finishing the game we just found. Yes, sir. All right. Progress is happening. Progress is happening. It's slow, but it's happening. All right, I don't even think I need this. I think we're going to the left now. All right, yeah, let's go this way. Yep, yeah, we got the key. That's going to unlock the gate to uh, let us rescue our lion tiger friend or whatever, whatever he is. I don't remember. Jax, what's up? Dragon's Lair is beaten, man. Welcome in. Dragon's Lair done. Now we're working on Super Pitfall. I had this as a kid. I beat it with a cheat code, but I, that's not good enough. Gotta beat it for real. Get that! Cowardly lion friend. Yeah, that guy. He's in Pitfall 2 as well. I think when you rescue him, the game ends. 
I think that's the last objective. Is it going to beat Super Pitfall today? Just kidding. I have faith in Mixer. We're getting there. We've got a long way to go, Dragon, but we're, we're working on it. This might, I think this has got a loop two as well. If you can believe that, this has a loop two. Do I really want to do loop two? No. Retro Shim, what's going on, man? How you been? Hope you've been doing well. Working on some super pitfall here. We just beat Dragon's Lair on the NES. What a jank mess that was. Kind of fun in its own way, though. <laughs> I did not have... Ooh, I need that. I need that. How you doing today, Retro Shim? Why am I not picking this up? Pick it up, you idiot! My God! I was on top of it. This game is so jank. GG on Dragon's Lair. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. I grinded it for seven hours on last Saturday, and I couldn't beat it, and today I beat it on the second run. It was ridiculous. I had no business doing that. Because I'm not good. <laughs> I'm definitely not good, but somehow it happened. Hang in there. Good luck with this one. This one's a tough one. Have you played this? The only one I know that's beaten this in chat. It, Raze, have you beat it? I know JSR has. Whoa! That was close. <laughs> Look at this situation. It's so bad. This game is jank, but it's comfy. Jank, it kind of is. It's, it's, there's so much worse than this. So much worse. I know a lot of people think this is like one of the worst games on NES. It's not. It's, it's definitely not. You want worse, you go play Beetlejuice or Captain Planet or some garbage like that. This is way better than that kind of stuff. Okay, the snake's in a really, really, really awful spot, and I don't know how I'm going to deal with him. Yeah, I don't like this at all. Yeah, now he rears up, and I can't do anything about it. You're not good, you're great. Oh, come on, dragon. Come on. Super Shitfall is the proper name for this. And eh, there's worse. Smart and Tart, how you doing today? But yeah, they stole the tiles from Bowser's castle. They did. Same thing. Never tried this one, starting to stop Pitfall and Tart 2600, which was excellent. Well, th those are honestly better than this. The Atari 2600 Pitfalls are definitely an upgrade over this one. This one's kind of jank, but in its own way, it's also kind of fun. I really don't mind this too much. There's way worse. Good God, keep that Beetlejuice game away from me on NES, please. <laughs> oh my God, it was so bad. Incredibly bad. All right, don't get hit. Look at the ducking in this game. It's like almost useless. He doesn't duck very far. Look at that. He's like squatting. That's not good enough. Get down on the ground like Bill Riser does in Contra. That's what you need. Is this good? Yep, I'd see. I remember. I knew that was going to happen this time. All right, we just got another one up and picking up gold. That's good. Look out. Oh, no, 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 no. No, sir. All right, you didn't get me. I'm running low on bullets. That's not a good thing. We've got a long way to go. Long way to go. Progress is slow. All right, thankfully, see, this is where you need those keys. If I didn't have a diamond key right here, we'd be stuck. To be the assistance of the walkthrough, I'm not ashamed of because of making your way out of that weird graveyard-looking level is no joke. I could not do that as a kid without cheating. In fact, I might not be able to do it this time. It might not happen. We'll see. I'm really scared of it, though. Oh, speaking of being scared, look at this. God, why didn't he grab the damn thing? Shit. So stupid. Am I going to be on the other side? Well, that was lucky. <laughs> well, I took a death, but it put me in the right spot. All right, get this. I need to try and recover that life that was lost. Little pile of lava right there. Look at that. JSR, once I finish this, I'm going to have to look at a speed run of it because I'm going to be very fascinated. I know there's glitches you can do to get through the game quicker. And I really want to see them. It's being a childhood game, learning all you can about your own childhood games is fascinating. Would have blown my mind as a kid, I'm sure. Oh my god. <laughs> These jumps are coming back to me a little bit. I remember doing them. Okay, I had no business making that jump, but I did. Low on bullets again. That's a problem. Super Pitfall, you don't die. You have a YMCA spasm. Yeah, I know. It, it just flips upside down over and over. I think James makes fun of that in the Angry Video Game Nerd episode on this. I kind of remember that. 
definitely need to go back and watch that one again, especially after playing this. I haven't played this in like 25 years or something. Like I said, though, it's not the worst game. There's definitely worse games than this out there. Okay, ceiling collapsing, yep. We know the drill, been there, done that. All right, keep moving. Keep moving. Anything hidden here? Dude, I am really worried about my ammo situation. I haven't... ARE YOU SERIOUS?! I guess I should have known better. You're doing good, smart, and tart? That's good. That's good, man. Yeah, there's nothing. I thought there was a gun around here somewhere. That was dumb. A lot of fun to speedrun this game, I bet. I might even want to try and learn a speedrun of this game. <laughs> I bet I could, simply just because I'm somewhat familiar with it. Just got... <gasps> Oh, I think that's the one we need. Yes, it is. All right. Yes, it is. Look, this is going to be a teleport. Mm-hmm. See? I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. All right. We got to explore this hidden world here. All right. Here we're going to find the, his lion friend, Quick Claw. Once we find Quick Claw, then the only thing left to do... Actually, we have to find the medicine here, too, because she's actually turned to stone in another world, if you can believe that. That death animation, though. Jax, have you ever tried this one? It's, it's, it's something. It's something. Wouldn't necessarily call this a bad game, though. A lot of people would. I will not. Good shot on the frog. I don't really remember where to go here. I'm just going to have to explore and feel my way through it, I think. These scorpions are some of the worst enemies in the game. Because they're fast. I've never... I Actually, I've done a speed run of Jump King. <laughs> Jump King. Of all the games to do a speed run on, that's the one I've done a speed run of. I did a six-minute run of Jump King, the first chapter, and that's not even a retro game. It, it plays like one, but it's not retro. But yeah, that's the only game I did a speed run of. I think I could probably do a speed run of Strider, which is on Genesis or Arcade, because I played that like a million times. I could probably put together a speed run of that. I really wanted to. The, the problem with me and speedrunning is I'd have a bad first couple of runs and be like, all right, I, I, I'm bad at this. I'm done. <laughs> that would be me. That's why I don't really like doing deathless runs in games a whole lot either, even though they're kind of fun to try every now and then. Like, it took like 31 runs of the Holy Diver to get the deathless run. And are you... You piece of crap. Look what happened. Look what happened there! You got what was coming. I don't remember where anything is here. Strider NES is better game than music. Fight me. That game shit, K-Fight. It's a shit version of, of Strider. It's jank. I don't like it at all. <laughs> I'm throwing it under the bus. <laughs> Not a fan. I rented that and it, it was just so bad. All right, I think I'm in the wrong spot. We're going to try going down over here. Why is that falling? If you ever want to try one to be happy to work with me, it, it might be a lost cause to try and get me to speed run anything. I love watching a good speed run. That's where things are different. I love watching one. Like, I had a lot of fun checking out your Castlevania 4 speed run. That was a lot of fun. Would I ever be able to do that? Hell no. <laughs> This is one reason I like watching it so much. You can do it, Mixer. I believe in you. We're, we're getting there, man. We're getting there. We're making some progress, but the problem is I'm almost out of ammo. I'm not sure you can do this without ammo. It, it would turn this into a pacifist run. And there's a part with, like, demons and undead and crap coming up, and I've got no ammo for that. All right, we're getting points here. We're working through it. We're working. I don't like Strider, never click with me. I like Arcade and Genesis Strider. NES Strider is just a jank pile of crap. <laughs> it's like based on, there's a Japanese version of it. It's based on like a real story and stuff, but I didn't like the game at all. I thought it was awful. Bad controls, janky jumping, sword with a bad hitbox, you name it. I can name a million things wrong with that game. Alright, I'm just jump over the frog. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna get myself killed here looking for treasure, because I don't remember where anything is. I'm trying to get lives on top of looking for the objective. That's probably a, like an awful idea. Any, there's just nothing here, dude. I, I know what I'm kind of looking for, I just haven't found it yet. 
You know what? That looks too dangerous. I'm not going that way. <laughs> That's too dangerous. Screw that. We're self-punishment. Mentally numb. What's up? No, I actually I don't hate this game. I've never beaten it the real way before. I beat it when I was a kid with cheat codes. And it didn't sit well with me. So, yeah. Now I'm going to beat it for real. Or try to. Almost out of ammo. This is situation, situation looking a little dire here. Alright, definitely need to pick up the gold. Alright, we're good. But I do kind of like this game. There's a lot of people that think this is like one of the worst games on NES. It's, it, I don't think it is. I like this more than that stupid Strider game, K-Fight. That Strider game's a disgrace to the franchise. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I was so disappointed with that game simply because it wasn't the arcade version. Speedrun is easier than you think is scripting a game and then memorizing your script. Although there's a lot more to it, truly believe that anyone can speedrun if they want to and have some spare weekend to commit to learning it. I don't know. I don't think I have the talent for it. I don't think you got to be really good at games to put together a really good speedrun. You got to be. I, that would definitely not be me. <laughs> not oh bullets! We needed that. It's not for everyone. I think I'm too impatient for it. But I think I could put together one maybe in a game I was like really, really, really familiar with. But like learning one from scratch, like I see you guys do a lot. How in the world do you do it? Well, a million points just got it. Gave me a retro achievement too. I just got that. I'm not going for any achievements or anything. I just want to beat the game. When what we get along the way is more than satisfactory for me. I'm, st I'm just going to keep exploring. We're doing good. A million freaking points. I do have some extra lives, so that's going to help out. Zooey, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. And, uh, rage moments today, a few here and there. Not too bad. Sure, all these are all valid complaints of the NES Music for it and that Ninja Gaiden level cutscene presentation. Yeah, the cutscenes are good. If you want me to find something nice to say about Strider on NES, okay. Cutscenes are good. Uh, graphics look okay. Gameplay, garbage. <laughs> I can't help it. I really dislike that game. That being said, you know what? You know what? I'm going to play it on stream anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. It's Strider. I like the character. I like the stories and all that with Strider. So yeah, I'll do it anyway. I mean, what else am I going to do with my life at this point? I'm, I'm going to be streaming for like next 30 years. There's nothing else to do. I don't go out to bars and crap like that. I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't even like going to the movies. I haven't been to the movies since The Phantom Menace was there. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. NES Strider Ocarina Time. I guess I'll go with Strider. I guess. <laughs> Not an easy choice there, but I'll roll with Strider if I have to choose one of those two. Not a good choice, but yeah, Strider, I suppose. <laughs> where the heck am I and where am I even trying? I don't even know where I'm going. I gotta get back to the... Do not do that. Do I like peeps? Yeah, they're not bad. They're alright. There's worse out there, like sweet tea. <laughs> There's sweet tea. You see Mario at the movies? Probably not, because the movie theater in my town is, like, dangerous. <laughs> If you go to the movie theater in my town, there's a chance you'll get into a fight or get shot, so it's probably a bad idea. I'm, I'm not going to go to it. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the lucky dodge right there. Holy shit. Fabled, what's up, man? Welcome, man. Thanks for the good luck. We're, we're making some progress, man. It's not, the, it's not the worst thing here. I know the item I'm looking for is around here, if you can believe it. It's not there. It's got to be close by them. No, do not die. Do not die. All right, there we go. Watch for the spider. I'm going to keep looking for, uh, like, money and stuff, because we're going to need that. That sucks. Mixing the Mario movies really good. You get a kick out of it. Yeah, I really want to see it. I'll just watch it when it comes out on, I was going to say home video, but that's kind of a, that's kind of a how old are you kind of thing. I said home video. My first thought that popped in my mind was like a video cassette, because that's what I used to do back in the day. That's what we're looking for! That is the item I've been searching here for. Alright, that turns Pitfall's niece Rhonda from stone back to a human being. You need that item. You can't beat the game without it. Look look where it is, too. What are your odds of finding this, like, just randomly? Well, I found it randomly when I was a kid, if you can believe it. 
Home video, exactly, right? Do I have, no, I don't have a home video thing sitting around here. There, there was something sitting here the other day. I was going to show it. I've got a bunch of old VCR tapes around here. You know, CDs and like DVD and all that, that's kind of new to me. I'm still in the age of VCR tapes, and that's where I'm going to be. Watch that movie on Midnight Release. Yeah, you guys all go and see Mario. I hope you enjoy it. It looks great. It really does. I don't get excited for movies like ever. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't really want to fall there, but we're okay. All right, keep looking for points and stuff. We're doing fine. We're doing good. Hold it together. Let me send you uh, your Resi Yetsura VHS so you can have one on standby. Yeah, I can plug my old VCR in, man. That sounds like an anime series I'd probably like anyway, so why not? I miss one of Mixer stream. I just wait for it to come out on home video. Basically, that's what the VODs are now, ducking. Same thing. Oh, there's my friend! What the hell even is that? I thought it was supposed to be like a cat or something. All right, well, that's what I was looking for, by the way. That's what I was trying to find. All right, so yeah. So that's another objective you have to do. And see, if I hadn't picked the key up earlier, you don't unlock the cage to rescue the dude right there. It's so ridiculous. What's up, Sane? How you doing today, man? Yes, Dragon's Lair is beaten. I hope more people stream it. Not because I want them to suffer, because I want people to experience the fun of getting through it. Sane, I hope you're having a wonderful day, man. Welcome in. We're making progress here in Pitfall as well. What if we beat this today, too? I think we have a shot. Maybe. Are you serious? I got ten lives. All right, so we got a shot. We got to go into the undead soon enough, though. That's going to be a problem. All right, nice spot to respawn me. What a jank game. Cloud, what's up, man? There's worse games than this. Way worse. Gradius 2 looking at you. There's the way out. See, I'm, I'm kind of know where I'm going here. All right, now I don't remember where I am, though. I'm at the top left section, I think, of the maze. So let's, uh, let's keep going from here. How you doing today, Cloud? Welcome in. Hope things are going good. We're getting there, man. We're making some progress. You can believe it. All right, now, see, this is what I was wondering. You can. This is where I crashed the balloon earlier. I wonder if you can actually fit the balloon through there. I'm going to try that. That's probably part of the speed run. Moon Crystal for the NES? Message me on Discord so I won't forget. Pitfall Harry is a degenerate. Now, I would say he looks more like Luigi than a degenerate. <laughs> the cat looks shocked. Hey, I rescued him. It's Bubsy? I put him back in the cage. <laughs> Funkle dude. Put him back in the cage. The original alien girl who likes normal loser dude rom-com. Uh, like the Ronma creator back in the 70s, you'd like it? Hmm. I probably would. Ranma. They, they've mispronounced that on like different, different dubs and stuff of that I've seen. All right, well, at least we got through that. We got another one. That's a one-up right there for you guys wondering what the hell that thing is. Snake is dead. Unlock the door. Things are clicking. Look at me go. Oh, Kremit, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Kremit, are you listening? You're in the way. All right, we're doing well. We got to get to the undead world next. We're getting there. This is progress. I'm happy with this. I think there's some hidden things you can pick up up here as well. I don't remember exactly where, but let's look. There's another one up. See, I'm not crazy. I do. I, there's a gun, too. I remember bits and pieces of this. All right, that skull monster right there is a hint that there's an, an, an entire undead world coming up. All right, and I think it's over here. I could be wrong, but I think this is where it's supposed to be. And here it is. Here it is! All right, this is a diff. Oh, this is a difficult part of the game because there is a lot of things to work through here. I could not beat this part as a kid without unlimited lives because the enemies are much harder here. And I don't really remember where I'm going either, so it's going to be a problem. Ox, what's going on? You realize that Metal Gear's off cooldown? You trying to play that again? Oh. I, I forgot to remove it. Yeah, if anybody redeems Metal Gear, I'm not playing it again. I'll just refund your points, so keep that in mind. I'll remove it. Thank you, Ox, for the reminder on that. I actually liked Metal Gear, if you can believe it. All right, so this, these undead monsters and stuff here, they do take more than one shot. So that's a problem. I'm looking for, like, ammo and stuff, because we're going to need it. 
There's nothing here, dude. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. It'll be for Metal Gear 2? What would that be? That would be Snake's Revenge, right? Metal Gear 2? Aha! See, I knew there was something here. Alright, now I just need to remember where to find what what's her name. <laughs> Which I don't remember. Oh, I'll take that. Oh god, I did not mean to fall! Oh, actually, this might be helpful. This might be where I need to go. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going this way now. <laughs> you can't move! Oh no, I don't know if I need to be down here or not. Oh, this is a scary place to be. Alright, let me see if there's anything up here, because I'm going to need to, like, gun my way through. Oh, my God. God, that was a long fall. How many shots did it take to kill these guys? A bunch, yeah. Kind of what I was worried about. There's another gun here. Alright. Do I need to... No, I think we need to go to the left. It's somewhere to the left and, like, in the middle section. I don't, I don't know. No fall damage. Yeah, you're lucky on that one. <laughs> you're very lucky to not have fall damage here. Go! No! No, no. uh-oh. That, that thing's like Lakitu or something. I'm looking for hidden stuff down here. There's guns, crosses, all kinds of power-ups down here. This is good. Alright, that snail. I was hoping it would, like, another cross. Alright, that's points. Just kill him. Just kill him. We're good. Whoa! Ah! Frog monster or whatever got me. Emerald Warrioress, welcome in. We got 13 lives. 13 lives. <laughs> Do not kill me again. Oh my god. Alright, I wonder if there's something hidden over there in the corner. I kind of want to check. There might be. Anything over here? Uh, uh, yes, points. Okay, well that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Ah, I almost got hit by a moth. Frog monsters are here. There's all kinds of crap here, right? All right, anything over here? Anything useful? We got to look for hidden stuff. Nothing. Frog monsters, they're here. Oh, another ring, okay. Enemies respawn quickly. Murder the frog. Yes, that's right. Shoot him in the face. Where do I need to be? I don't know where I am. I have no idea where I am right now. I'm trying to remember where you're supposed to go. I think it's over here. And so I have played this game a lot, but like I said, I've never beaten it without cheats. I think we're on the right track, believe it or not. Oh my god, so many enemies here. Ramza, what's up, man? Welcome in. Maybe the same people who made Ghosts and Goblins. See, I knew I liked this game for a reason. Because I love Ghosts and Goblins. That's one of my favorite NES games. Ramza, what's up, man? Happy birthday, dude! <laughs> I saw him. Jesus! <laughs> oh, I didn't know where to go. Ramza, how you doing today? I had this as a kid. We just never played it. You asked me if it was good, and I was like, nah, we don't need to play that. Let's go outside and play some soccer. That's what we did. Happy birthday, man. I saw it was your birthday on Facebook. There she is! Looks like a doll. <laughs> Holy crap, I found her! You're welcome, dude. Dude, come pick me up sometime and I'll take you and your wife out to dinner. We'll have a good time. We'll have some fun. I'm paying, of course. For you guys that don't know, Rams is a real life friend of mine. I've known him since we were like six years old or something. We, we still hang out. After April, we'll do it. Good. Let's go eat some Chinese or some sushi or something like that. You guys pick. I'm paying for it. It's not Justin Bailey. No. Oh, my God. Is that Samus with green hair? Got her. All right. All right. Now we got to get out of here. We got to go. We got to end the game now. I don't remember how to get out of here, though. I think you go to the... <gasps> no! All right. No! <laughs> you can't hit me. You suck. I'm freaking Luigi with a hard hat on. Get on my level. <laughs> I got 12 lies. If I can't do this with 12 lies, I got a problem. I had sushi for lunch. How was that, Ape? How'd you enjoy that? I hope you had a good one. 
looking for some I did everything already I did jukebox we're on our way out now now I have to eat, try and end the game now we got to get back to the outside world and it's treacherous if I remember correctly it's not easy to do all right I've lost over half my ammo probably should stop attacking these guys all right this frog monster we don't need to worry about that all right is there anything hidden over here there might be a gun or something nope Takashi's Challenge, yes, I've been asked for that a million times, Jorkle. A million times, I know. What's up, man? Welcome in. <laughs> People really want to see that one. I've been That one's been brought up, I think, more than like anything else. Oh, found more points. How's Pitfall going? It's going good, Rat. We might actually beat it. I found all the objectives. We found the diamond. We found the key. We rescued the cat thing. We rescued the girl. Now we got to get the hell out of here and get back. And I think the game's over. I think. And then there'll be a loop two. <laughs> I think it's got loop two. It's going good though. We're gonna get a third jank game, probably not. What if I could do loop two in this game? No. The, wow! I made that. <gasps> oh my god! I didn't mean to grab that, but I did. That's a quick one. I had this as a kid, so I have a rough idea of kind of where I need to go, but th the thing with it is, is I was never able to do it without cheat codes back in the day. I think I used Game Genie for this, where I had unlimited lives, so I could just explore at my leisure! No! Oh my god, now I'm in trouble. Uh-oh, I don't remember how to get back. <laughs> All right, I think we have to just keep going back to the left! <laughs> okay, now I think I remember why I couldn't beat this. All right, am I going to land on something bad? Probably not. All right. Caleb, welcome in. How you doing today? Don't you need a microphone for Takashi? I don't know. I don't know that much about it other than when people have told me it's like really bad. Oh, it might use the Famicom controller because the Famicom controller has a microphone on it where you can yell at the, po at the Poles voice thing in Zelda. I remember that. I've never actually tried to do that. I think that would be fun to do. That just gave me a jump scare right there. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's do some uh, Jump King stuff right here. Let's do that. I remember this took forever for me to do this the first time as a kid. You you don't get second chance here. You miss the jump, you're going down. My mother was wondering who was shouting at my room. Oh, it's me. Don't worry. It's always me. I'll take the blame for it. I yell a lot. You piece of crap! Oh! Okay, we got 11 more lives. Oh, I'm sh Oh my god, JSR. I want to do that. <laughs> I always wondered as a kid, why is this cat ears thing so dang hard to kill? It really bothered me. <laughs> this cat ears monster thing should not be taking this many hits. I know, right, Proto? It's insane, those vines. They're, they're horrible. I remember this as a kid. Told her it's the games that make him mad. Yeah. When you're playing games like this, it, it can be easy to get mad. I'm not a very quiet person, even in real life. You, you, guys, you guys know that. What level is this? New World, this is the end of the game. If we can get out of here and get back, I think, to the beginning, the game's over, I think. Could be wrong, but I, I think. And then there's Loop 2, which I did try and beat that as a kid, too, and I have a rough idea where maybe a couple items are. Maybe we could try Loop 2. That would be insane to do Loop 1 and 2 of this game in the same day. I never imagined that would be possible. Great climbing animation, right, Goten? I know. The walk animation's dumb. The, if you press up, he does this. I don't know what the hell that is. But th th this game's got a lot of jank going on. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. The same people made Ghosts and Goblins on NES. I love that game. So I can't... And they also made Athena. I don't hate Athena either. That's a game a lot of people can't stand. I might be on my way out of here. I might be on my way out. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. <laughs> all right, now we gotta start over because I didn't want to get hit by the spikes. Great, all right, gotta do that whole segment again because I goofed it up. 
Wonderful. Well, well done, Mixer. Well done, you complete jackass. You screwed everything up. <laughs> All I had to do was just get hit there one time and we would have made it. Now I have to do that entire jump segment again because I fell. Not a quiet person in real life. Imagine Mixer yelling at store cashier. Actually, some of the only things that like really piss me off in real life coffee is traffic. Because this is the United States of America. We, we don't do any kind of decent transportation here. We have 8 billion cars on the road with people driving at age 16, steering with their knees while eating a sandwich while staring at their phone. That, that's, um, that's the United States in a nutshell. It's, it's so freaking awesome trying to fight traffic. <laughs> that really pisses me off. That nothing else really gets on my under my skin that much in real life besides traffic. Oh, miss the jump again. Miss a jump again and landed on the bug! Yes! Wonderful! Absolutely great! Totally good! Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Alright, we don't go that way. I know how to get back to this at least. Frog almost got me. That would have been good. Still 11 lives. Yes, surely we'll make it out of here, right? Surely. Size and Southern, I know, right, witch? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Forgot while brushing their hair. That, that too. That and putting their makeup on, sane. That, that too. They do everything but drive, dude. If I was in charge, you wouldn't get a freaking driver's license till age 21. I'm sorry, I've had enough of kids driving. I, I can't handle it anymore. I, I'm done. <laughs> driving license age 21. Yes. Yep, that's what I'm going with. Uh oh, miss a jump again. This is really diabolical. This is not a fun part of the game. TikTok, drive with a blindfold while texting challenge. Don't give many ideas though, or they'll be doing it right this second. Oh look, look what I can do. I saw it on TikTok. I've never even been on TikTok before. What is it, like short videos and stuff? I heard it's popular. <laughs> I'm too old. How did I miss that? Mixer, please say, get off my lawn. All right, I'll say it in a southern accent. Get off my lawn, boys! Get the hell off my lawn! Yeah, it's southern accent. I'm not a... I live in Alabama, but I don't consider myself a southern person. I don't. I don't fit in here. I, I just don't. I don't do mud riding and sweet tea and all that shit. You guys know that. You guys know that! It's nonsense. All right, I made it that time. See, you just get lucky. You don't actually grab these vines or what? I miss that. I miss that time too, and it still counted. All right, the screen's not keeping up. You'd fit perfect here in Sweden. I'm sure I would. Sweden looks like a beautiful country. Oh, listen to the audio glitch. I heard that JSR. This game's one glitch after another, and I miss the jump again. Wonderful. <laughs> now I see why I couldn't do this as a kid, and the skull thing got me. Do, 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 do. Ah! Ten more lives! Surely we'll make it, right? Pretty much, Jukebox. Yeah, Southern hospitality is crap. It's not actually true. I've said it before on stream. Southern hospitality down here is they're being real nice to your face, and then behind your back, they're talking the worst shit. Ramza, am I not wrong? Uh, I've known you my whole life. There's none of that Southern hospitality. They're talking shit about you behind your back. <laughs> I, I would know. I've heard it a million times. Go wreck what's going on. <laughs> what's up? We're just throwing stuff under the bus here. Mario got two jobs. With like uh, This was Luigi with a hard hat on, basically. I can't do these jumps, man. This is like Jump King. It's worse than Jump King. I, I did a speed run of that game. Rob, what's going on? Welcome in, Rob. Welcome in, GoRec. How are you guys doing today? Austin, what's up, man? Good to see you as well. Rob, thank you for the 10 months. See you beat Dragon's Lair. I'll see your next selection. You enjoy pain. Dude, we're about to beat this too. Hang on to your hat. <laughs> as soon as I make it across these vines. Thank you very much for the 10 months, man. I appreciate it very, very much. This vine jumping is just... This is the jankiest part of the game. You have to do this to get the hell out of here. It is, Ray's. It is. It, it sadly is. There's a lot of really nice people down here. There's a lot of really asshole people down here as well. There's both. No! Alright, as long as I don't die, I don't care if I fall. 
As long as I don't... As long as that happens. I'm doing good, Go Rec. We beat Dragon's Lair earlier. Now we're working on Super Pitfall. Might beat this, too, if I can ever get across the vines. Drive in Boston? That's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm in Alabama. It's bad enough here. This is a college town. It's full of 18-year-old drunk kids texting and driving. It's horrifying. Your life is in your own hands here. I, I, it's just bad. <laughs> it's just bad. I don't know what else to say. Yes! Yes! That is correct, Ramza. How you doing today, Rob? I hope, is it spring break where you are? It's, Proto's a teacher as well. You guys that are on spring break, I bet you're enjoying your time. It's quiet here in, in, in a college town during spring break. It's actually quite wonderful. It feels normal. Just gotta get out of here, dude. Just grab the damn vine. See, there you go. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. I'm making it harder than it should be! Don't land on the bug. Don't land on the skull thing. Don't get hit by the frog. It sucks. Oh my god, it sucks. <sighs> this is what you had to put up with. You want to beat this game. Snowbirds are coming back from Florida now. I wouldn't go to Florida at any time. I like snow. Florida's just hot and humid. <laughs> when I was a kid, I liked vacations to Florida with my family. But these days, uh-uh. Just hot and humid nonsense. Just let me stay in some nice cool weather, which is not in Alabama. Terrible, terrible place here. I did finish Dragon's Lair. I did. I absolutely did. And it was actually fun. I liked it. Dragon's Lair gets my seal of approval. I know you guys are going to like totally flip out with me saying that, but I had fun with Dragon's Lair, and I kind of like this game, too. I like janky games. I... I I don't like these jumps. <laughs> now that thing's gonna get me again! <laughs> I'm running out of lives, dude. We're not gonna freaking make it. <laughs> you get a few new emotes? Nah, I haven't changed the emotes in a while. I could put some different ones in, though. You can swap them out anytime you want to. This is so jank, dude. Why is this? I made it already. I just happened to fall. All right, well, I got nine more. Makes there's a robot built to beat Jank. I like Jank, but I don't like Ocarina of Time and Gradius and things people actually do like. <laughs> a lot of people are like, yeah, Gradius, that's a fun series. Yeah, Ocarina of Time, that's so fun. I'd rather be playing this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I like this kind of stuff more than that. I really do. As janky as this is happening right now, I'm still happier doing this than I would be looking for a Switch in Ocarina and not finding it being stuck for five straight hours. HOW DID I MISS THAT?! BULLSHIT! I'm sorry, that was bullshit. I went right through it. RPG question, what do you think of Legacy of Goku series on Game Boy Advance? I've never played it before. Game Boy Advance is too modern for me. That was after my time. The only Game Boy I ever played was this one. I have a Game Boy Advance now, I have Nintendo DS now, I had all that, but I didn't, I bought it like all fairly recently, I had none of it when it was like modern, I haven't done like anything with it, so I haven't a clue, don't know, make a big boss emote, I guess I could, right, yeah, big boss, big boss here, go in the room to the right and it's a pit trap, freaking asshole. I can't freaking do this. It's God! This is madness! This is madness, I tell you! This is madness. I'm falling through the vines, landing right on top of the skull thing. You can't make this up. How is that happening over and over? I'm going to run out of lives here, and we're going to have to play the whole game again simply because I can't jump across these stupid vines. It's like Jump King. Worse. Way worse. Ren, you want you like Jump King? You want to play this? This is fun. <laughs> yeah, it pisses off lots of people telling them there are only 8-bit Zelda games that are worth playing. Bell, I kind of agree, but I also uh, I like Link to the Past a whole lot. 
So that one gets gets a pass, and there's probably other 2D Zelda games that are great that I just haven't played yet. But yeah, 3D Zelda games, nah, not for me. No thanks. I'll pass. I'll stick with this. As janky as this is. Come on, grab the damn thing, you idiot! Dude! Dude! This is gonna stop! The mouse is on the screen. Hold up. Rad, it's not going well. The lives are, like, melting really quick. <laughs> They're going away rather fast! That frog thing's gonna shoot me if I don't move. This is insane. This is way hard. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> the undead dude almost got me. Breath of the Wild? Never played it. It looks better than Ocarina, though. I, I don't think I would mind that one. More so, the Ocarina is just not good. <laughs> it's, it's so boring. It's like the most boring video game I've ever played. And then I got, I got it in like 1998, Christmas 98. I played it for a while for six months. Never really got into it. Never really had much fun. Then I got EverQuest. In May of 1999, I played that. And I was like, yep, done with Ocarina. Moving on. Never played it again. You wouldn't like the graphics are too modern, I know, right? Looking forward to Ocarina. You will, we'll play it at some point. I don't want to, but I will. EverQuest was great, though. That was completely different. That was good. Come on, grab the thing. There we go. All right, I'm doing a little bit better now. We got like five more segments or something to do. Grab it! No! That was the last one! And there, there's my friend right there. There's my friend. And there's two of them now. We're going to game over here. We are actually going to game over here because I can't make it. We are going to game over. I can't believe it. I am in disbelief right now. Why is this a thing? This is not cool. Probably try this, but at least much to be desired by the looks of it. If you like doing like a huge maze and stuff, Ren, with like tons of hidden stuff, it's very janky looking, but it's a little bit charming in its own way. I grew up with this game, so I might like it more than most people would. Whole concept of MMORPG blew my mind. It, me too, Tilty. It was the, when I first played EverQuest, I was like, oh my god. I'm playing in a world with 2,000 other players all at the same time and we can all interact and play together. I couldn't believe what I was doing. I mean, those kind of games have gotten stale now, but but back then, in 1999, it was incredible. And I made friends playing that that I'm still really close friends with today. Even though there, I've never met them in real life. I mean, we've talked on the phone and just it, it's, it's insanely... Insanely cool with a walk through a map. I could see it being fun. Yeah, back in the day There was none of that available. So I had to learn it all on my own But these days, yeah, you would have resources available that would make it more tolerable But if you wanted to spend two weeks playing this yeah, I, I guess you could figure it all out on your own blind But yeah, I'm not sure how fun that would be As a kid without maps, I loved exploring this game. I did too, honestly JSR, I, re I really did I really, really did enjoy going through it. Despite the jank it's got. I didn't really know the difference, though. I mean, when you're a kid, you don't really know what's good and what's not. You just have a game, you play it, you, you work through it. All right, we might actually make it this time if I don't fall off again. Nice glitchy sound effects going on. Please let me get out of here. Please let me get out of here. We should have made it earlier. That's fine. Take the death. Take the death. It's fine. It's better than falling again. It's better than that. A Dark Elf Shadow Knight because you were edgy. I had one as an alternate character. It was a good class. I played a human monk, Chaucer. That was my class. We're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of here. Thank freaking God. Thank freaking God we're out of there. Okay, now I think we go back to the beginning and the game's over. I think. Whoa. I think I could be wrong here. I beat it. That's in the game. Congratulations. You completed the adventure of the Lost Caverns. Please try another world. 
<laughs> That's the reward you get is another world. <laughs> loop two. Yep, loop two starts right away. <laughs> oh, you thought one loop was good was good enough? Oh no, sir, no. Nope, brand new loop to go. Try another world. <laughs> As a kid, that really pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie, that pissed me off. I could try and do loop too. Just uh, so you just guess it, jumping in places. There's a lot of blind jumps. There's a lot of blind jumps, friend. There's some Bubsy moments in this. I know you. I know you love that. Speaking of Bubsy, what's up, Grunt? <laughs> Welcome in. Good times. We we just finished it. Is there anything up here? See, that's new. That's not in loop whatever one or whatever. Grunt, what's going on? Let me catch up with you guys. Thank you for the GG's, guys. I appreciate it. That's super pitfall. We beat it. So there's a fun fact mixer. After you rescue the princess, if you game over, then let the demo play it counts. You beat the game. What? Are you <laughs> That is one of the best glitches I've ever heard in my life. The demo will finish the game. I'm going to try that at some point. That is freaking epic. Dragon's learned Super Pitfall on one stream. That's insane. Well, I already had... I played this as a kid, Chaucer, so this was not a blind playthrough. It's the first time I've ever beaten it without using Continue. There was a one-credit clear. This game does have a Continue code built in as well, but like I said, I didn't use that. I wonder if I should try and do loop two. Items are in different spots. Grunt lives in one of the Western European nations. Yeah, the Western European nation of New Zealand. That's right. Demo starts at the beginning of the game. The game counts that as finishing, so it lets you beat the game. That is nuts. That is nuts! They even test this shitty game? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Insane. Trogdor, I just beat it, dude. This is loop two. I just finished it. What's the big deal? There's no big deal here. Should we try and do loop two? I mean, we could. <laughs> what if I actually did it? I don't know where all the items are in loop two. We'd have to check all the usual spots, but I mean, I, I don't really know where they are. We could try. We got nothing else to do. <laughs> Dude, that would be crazy, though. Dragon's Lair, uh... Whatever the hell this is, Super Pitfall, loops one and two in the same stream. That would be great. I'm kind of tempted to try. I don't think I'll make it, though, but I could give it a shot. I can't believe it. <gasps> what? Nice respawn, dude. That's how you fare in Kung Fu NES. I like Kung Fu on NES. I could beat it easily. Beating Dragon's Lair and Super Pitfall in 2.5 hours. Kind of cheating, though, right? I knew about this game as a kid already, though. Not the same thing. Seriously, want to play this? You'd be playing a good game like Karate Champ. I don't mind Karate Champ all that much, believe it or not. That's another game that's jank that I that I don't hate. <laughs> it, it just doesn't bother me that much. I don't know why it just doesn't. All right, we're still. Go I'm gonna keep going. Strider NES in the same stream. Screw that game. I'll play it though. I don't know what I'm doing, but I mean, I can figure it out. It'll take a long time. How do you like Karate Champ and hate Strider? Because Karate Champ is, to me, it was actually kind of playable. I know the moves. You have to learn how the controller works to play that game. You can't just sit there and hit buttons. I like Street Fighter, same thing. You gotta learn your moves. If you don't know your moves, you're not getting anywhere with that. If you know your moves, you're fine. Anything up here? Nothing. All right, well, items are in different spots. I did find a club key. All right, so that's a one small positive I can take away. Got the snake. I have no idea what to look for up here. <laughs> None whatsoever. Are there keys or anything here? I have not a clue. Dragon Ball or Dragon Power in the U.S. is a pretty jank game. I'm going to play that. I have a translated version of the original Dragon Ball game. Not the NES Dragon Power one, Ray's the one that's really janky looking and they changed the Goku sprite and all that stuff. I do want to play the actual real version of that. Okay, we're looking for hidden stuff. Oh, I found a gun! Alright, well that's good. Alright, is there anything... I've got a hundred bullets now. It's Batman Forever. I'm going to play that as well. Batman Forever? That's like the worst game of all time. Besides Gradius 2, of course. 
the actual true worst game of all time. Is there anything around here? I'm searching. I'm looking. I see nothing, though. There's got to be stuff hidden here. I haven't found anything. U.S. version that changed Bulma's panties into PB&J sandwiches. They did! It's so funny! Oh, I want your sandwich! Says Mas They didn't even call him Master Roshi, did they? They call him Her Herman or something. I remember that, though. I remember renting that when I was a kid not understanding it. I didn't know it was a butchered version of an anime I didn't even know existed. But that's actually what it is. There is nothing here, dude. I swear to God. See... See, I have played a little bit of Loot 2 when I was a kid. I did remember there's a bits and pieces where there's a few items here and there. We do kind of need to start for I might not make this. I'm very low on lives, but that's okay. I'll do what I can. Oh, I just remembered something. There's actually a hint in a magazine where if you kill frogs, you can farm lives. That just hit me like a freight train right now. Let's try and see if we can do that. There's a life farming tip I remember in a Nintendo Power where if you kill enough frogs, you get free one-ups or something. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if it works. And realize when my brother got in Dragon Ball Z years later, it all clicked then, didn't it, Ray's? It just clicked. That Batman Forever game, though, that might be the worst game of all time. Proto's working on that now on his stream. Oh, it does work! I just got a one-up from shooting the frog! Alright, maybe we could farm some lives here and actually get through this. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get another life from doing this. We found some life for me. Actually, see if you're hoping you play Stinger based on what you said yesterday. I added it to my list, actually, Rob. It's on my list now, and I've never played that before. I know All I know about it is that it's just a shmup. Fun Dragon Ball idea for you, Dragon Ball Advance Adventure. Is that the one that's like a fighting game? Because I have seen that played before on Game Boy Advance. I think that might be that one. There's another glitch in this game, though. If you intend on finishing the loop, I wouldn't try it yet. You can soft lock. If you walk into a wall, eventually clip into it. You can jump into the wall and skip entire sections of the game. See, that's the kind of stuff I want to see on video, JSR. Like, how all the glitches in this game actually, like, all fit together to make a speed run. I'm very, very, very interested in seeing that. Especially this being a childhood game. That is just fascinating information to me. Advanced Adventure is a platform beat em up. Okay, I will play that at some point. Dragon Ball Advance is Middle Slug plus Street Fighter 2. Well, that sounds good to me. I'm a fan of both. I am a major fan. Dragon Power, uh, I have the Dragon Ball game for the Famicom you brought up earlier. I want to play that on stream. I rented, like, the original Dragon Power when I was a kid. Got nowhere. I think I beat level 1 or something, and then I kept dying. I didn't know what to do. But now that I actually know about the Dragon Ball series, I think, uh, <laughs> I think we could figure it out. Because they, like, change the names of the characters. They changed... Uh, Yamcha to Lancer or some crap, and Bulma was Nora or something. I don't know. I don't. I haven't played it in forever, but I do remember that. We're farming lives, by the way. I forgot about a trick in Nintendo Power. Can't believe I didn't remember it until just now. You kill enough of these, you get free lives. Singer should come with the flashing lights warning. The screen freaks out for a few seconds when you reach a boss. Well, I'm looking forward to it then. Okay, Sage, sounds good. Section Z, you want me to put that on my list, Chaucer? I will. Another NES game mixer would enjoy and get a bad rap that isn't bad. Silver Surfer, beat that one. Beat that one on stream, JSR, and you know what? Enjoyed it. Had fun. It's hard, and you got to be really careful with Silver Surfer because uh, you have limited lives, but I thought it was a fun game. In fact, I beat it on, like, my third run ever because I got a huge pile of power-ups, and then for some reason, I just didn't, I beat like four or five stages in a row deathless. So I kept a massive amount of lives and continues. And that was enough to get me through the game. It was unthinkably lucky. I don't think I could do it again, but that's the way it worked out. I don't think it would happen again. All right, we're going to start working through this now and start searching for hidden... I, I got to start searching. I don't know where anything is. And I got far with playing Strider because of difficulty. Which version, Emerald? Uh, NES or uh, Arcade or Genesis. I'm a fan of uh, Arcade and Genesis. Uh, that NES one's just awful. <laughs> NES, okay, and I'm dead. Nice. Silver Surfer is a cool one to watch. The OST is so good, it is. It's really good. 
Damn, so with the frog getting ammo drop, can yield a few extra lives. Yep. So I've got 26 lives now. I forgot about that. If I'd remembered that, well, I could have taken all the drama out of doing loop one here, but too late for that. Too late now. If we have to farm more frogs, we can. But see, you have limited ammo, so I can only farm them for so long. And then we're out of ammo again and back to back to square one. So I'm searching around. We gotta look around. We got plenty of lives, but see, I gotta figure out loop two, and I don't know where the items are. Some items I think are in different places, so we gotta search high and low to find everything. That's okay. We got plenty of lives. Should be able to do it. You should do a Strider Aeneas Deathless. I'll do a stream run of you do. I won't do it Deathless, but I'll do a run of it. Does that sound good? <laughs> Because I don't, I don't want to do a deathless run of a game I don't like. I would definitely do it, though. Break at work. Wizard, what's going on, man? How's it going? We're doing good. We're playing Super Pitfall. <laughs> and we're going to work our way through it. It's going to be a pain in the ass to do Loop 2. It's probably like playing a whole new game, but that's okay. I don't mind. Wizard, I hope things are going well. I think a lot of games AVGN get... Yes, not every game AVGN did is bad. I know a lot of people get that impression. They're like, oh, James reviewed so-and-so. It's a bad game. It's awful. It sucks. Not necessarily. He's doing it a lot just for... Uh, just to have make a fun review. Not a, all the games he reviews are bad. Some people don't get that. We're being raided! Scuba, what's up, man? Welcome in! Thank you very much for the raid, Scuba. Welcome uh, to Super Pitfall. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, buddy. How's it going today, and what are we working on? AVGN doesn't do everything. Uh, yes, agreed. Space Kitty, what's going on? How's it going? Did you restart or still going? Finished it, Rat. We're in loop two. <laughs> this is loop two, if you can believe it, of Super Freaking Pitfall. I found nothing over there. We're going to go search the left side of this now, and see what we can do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but yeah, well, we're going to go searching up here now. I'm going to go to the top and then I'm going to scale down the left side of the wall and we're going to uncover as much hidden crap as we can because that seems to be the plan. Yep, we're in loop two. Looking at your w list, you did Wizard of Oz. I did. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Playing Mock Rider and their really cool Super Mario World hat called Memorabilia. How, so did you beat Mock Rider? Uh, is that game even beatable? I don't know a single human being that's beaten Mock Rider before. Not a single one. Is it even beatable? Is there anything up here? There was a one up here last time. There's the key, dude! They put the key up here! Okay, well, we just found one of the items we need to beat the game. That was lucky. Okay, hopefully there's a one-up up here, too. That was insanely good. Is there anything up here? Wow, I am highly blown away by that. <laughs> That's one of the key items we need. It is so rough. I never got anywhere with it, man. I got nowhere with Mock Rider. I'd play it for like 10 minutes with my cousins, and we'd be like, okay, we're going to go outside now. That's enough Mock Rider. <laughs> Even though the concept is cool, we thought it was just too dang hard. I'm going to drop down here and see if this is a... No, well, that was a smart idea. Simon's Quest is another game I want to do on stream. Rat, you did that one. I'm having a good time with this. You, you, know, I'm, you know I'm inspiring you guys to play this. How'd that ROM hack go, Scuba? How'd that ROM hack go? I've never heard of that one. We just did a ROM hack here called The Rainbow Realms. And um, Super Mario 3 is really good. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I shouldn't be wasting all this ammo, but uh, who knows? Who? Ca oh, nice! I needed that. Okay, we need more where that came from. We need much more. Bill and Ted is the worst? No, sir. Much worse than Bill and Ted out there. I kind of like Bill and Ted. I thought I would hate Bill and Ted the first time I played it. I was like, this is the worst game ever made. And then it grew on me, and I enjoyed it. Is it a game for everybody? No, sir. Not anywhere close, but is it a, not a bad game? I would say no. All right, I'm gonna check this area again. I have a project to beat Simon's Quest. I got bored playing it, though. Gotta stick with it. Gotta stick, nah, if you're not having fun, don't stick with it, you're good. Figure out the power-ups in Mock Rider? No, I never figured out the power-ups in Mock Rider. In fact, I couldn't even keep the damn thing on the road. <laughs> I don't think I lived long enough to figure out the power-ups. 
We didn't play it a whole lot, and I kind of got frustrated with it real quick, but I, I kind of regret like not trying to do more with it. The balloon music is straight out of Pitfall 2 on the Atari. Castlevania 2 we will play. Yes, Rob. Yes, Raze, we will do it. And you know everybody wants to hear the Bloody Tears theme, because that's the best rendition of it you will ever hear in a video game. 16-bit, 32-bit, doesn't matter. You want to hear Bloody Tears on the good old NES playing Castlevania 2. One of the best soundtracks in all of video games. Most wonderful time of the year, stars shining above. <laughs> Rat, you need to play this! You beat that Pitfall game on Genesis, you can handle this one too. I think this one's a lot easier, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm probably wrong. I don't know where I'm going either. Oh, what am I trying to do here? What am I trying to do? Gotta try and remember what I'm working on here. Besides getting shot at by... Good God! All right, I got the bird. All right, anything over here? We gotta explore. Bill and Ted on any is such a frustrating game because you can't find the blasted historical items. I, I found them. I found them! They're not that bad. <laughs> I beat it in two streams, Bill and Ted. It, it could have been worse. I know, maybe I got a little bit fortunate, a little bit lucky. I'm not gonna lie, I get lucky a lot on stream. You guys know that. Famicom Disc, Castlevania 3, Bloody Tears says otherwise. I'm going with Castlevania 2 when it couldn't, that couldn't be any better. It could not be, I'm sorry. Branka, what's going on? How you doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I've gotten to see you a couple of times recently by early lurking. I just found another item. Thank you. I hope the dinner's going good. You're having a wonderful dinner. We're working on some super pitfall loop two. I should probably add that to our information here because this is loop two. Branka, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Always nice to see you. Let's add... Uh Let's, this stupid keyboard would, there we go. I'm gonna put loop two in here. Cause that's what we're working on. If we beat this, I'll try something else. Do a deathless run of double dragon three or something. I kinda wanna do that. Honestly, I prefer the man, uh, mansion theme in Castlevania two over Bloody Tears, the NES version at least. That's good too, Rob. I can't complain about that one. It's good. It's not Bloody Tears, but it's good. Castlevania 4 Bloody Tears is excellent as well, Raze. I'm definitely with you on that one. You guys are bringing up a lot of good stuff anyway. <laughs> I, I, am, I can't object to any of this wonderful stuff I'm hearing. You know what, I'm going to object to going that way because that does not look like it's work. There's probably a key at, down there I need, but we're not going to do it. I refuse. We're not doing that. We're going to keep looking around this section. If I have to go in there, I will. Come on, Mixer's playing Super Pitfall Blind. This is going to be good. MBD, guess what, buddy? Guess what? This is Loop 2. We already beat this game. Now we're working on Loop 2. <laughs> Look at the snake! Oh my god, the bat! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, we got plenty of lives. We got to work through it, though. RMV, welcome in. MBD, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to Super Pitfall Loop 2. Progress is happening. We're getting there. I got plenty. I found a. I remembered a place to farm lies because of Nintendo Power of many decades ago. Beetlejuice is not a good game. You're just making that up, Rob. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. No one likes that game. Find me somebody that likes that Beetlejuice game. It's oh, I remember, I remember this. The hard key. We needed that, dude. Okay, progress, progress. Okay, now what do we need? How did it not hit me? I have no idea. The hitboxes in this game are ridiculous. <laughs> They're insanely bad. Can I go down here? Yes. Okay. Okay, I think that bird is over here from the. I, I think that. Yes! How does it. Yeah, you're right. How, he does like Beetlejuice, and I don't. Under, he will, I don't count him. He likes the worst possible games known to mankind, Glove. He likes the, the Fester's Quest as well. The U.S. version. The U.S. version of Fester's Quest is hot garbage. European version's fine. I played that. I don't remember what was here. There's a one-up or something over here, but it might not be here because this is loop two. Yeah, it was there. It's not there now. All right. I wonder if there is still a one-up in this section. Let's look for it. This game has hitboxes. I wouldn't know. Oh, I just found a gun. 
Not to beat Castlevania 64? Oh no, not playing that. That's 3D. That's not my area of expertise is 3D. Screw that. That'd be like playing Ocarina or something. I wonder if there's anything over here. Or anything in here. Oh, see, it's worth looking around. Castlevania Legacy of Darkness on Nintendo 64. I actually enjoyed it. The camera is your biggest obstacle. So it'd be like Mario 64 all over again. What all you have to do in this game? Rescue the cat and the daughter. What else? Uh, the four steps, Link. You need to find the diamond. You need to find the key to unlock the cat. And then you have to find the medicine, which uh, frees the daughter. And then you can beat the game by getting back. So there's a multi-step process to getting through it. Makes if you like 2D games. I know a few 2D games on modern consoles. Send you a list. All right, yeah. Message me in Discord. All good there. Bloody Tears is your favorite? Yep. Yeah, it's as good as it gets for Castlevania. You can't go wrong with good old Bloody Tears theme. I don't know what I should be doing now. I'm trying to think about what what we need to be doing now. What should be the next objective? Not jumping on a spider would be great. Okay, I was trying to pre-fire to see the snake pops up like that, so you gotta be ready. All right, so what should I actually be working on? I'm trying to like come up with some kind of decent plan here. I, I didn't explore. What floor did I not explore here? I didn't look up here. Okay, I've got. That's where the diamonds over there to the right, but we can't get there yet. That's a future adventure. All right, miss the snake again. Got him that time. All right, anything up here? Yes, more ammo. Good. Talk about Mario ROM hacks. I want the mixer might be a huge challenge. Good. I want more Mario ROM hacks. As long as they're not like overly Kaizo ish. Too much Kaizo will just burn you out real quick. I like Kaizo, but like, has to be in limited quantities. Anything over here? Oh, the ceiling's gonna collapse, isn't it? I might have already looked over here. Well, let's check again just to make sure. Okay, the diamond's up there, but we can't get to it yet. Sinking old sanctuary over bloody tears. Oh, the the water level in uh, Castlevania Three, that the Aquarius. That's really good too. I love that. That that theme's one of the best ones. It's not Kaizo. Okay, good. No Kaizo whatsoever. Looks like it's gonna beat Loop Two also. Uh, we're off to a good start. We found uh, one of the key items I need to get through this. Don't jump on the spider. You can't do that. All right, I haven't found anything else useful down here. Good shot on the snake. That was a nice pre-fire right there. All right, so what... Uh, I guess we should go the middle path now that I have a heart key, and we should be able to reach the... the the middle place. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Or we can keep looking around here some more. I'm not sure. Mm, what do I need and where do... Mm, I'm trying to, trying to think. Trying to think. What are you doing, dude? I could farm more lives if I have to. We got 27. Just realized you're making a lot of claims about Castlevania music. I haven't played Symphony of the Night yet. Well, that's because it's a Metroidvania and it looks boring. <laughs> oh, you piece of crap! It's funny, nothing gave me any idea that he beat the game. This is Loop 2. Castlevania Bloodlines has a good, great soundtrack. Yes, it does. It's a good one. And no, I have not played Symphony of the Night yet simply because it looks boring to me. Doesn't look exactly thrilling. I am dying like crazy right now. This is so dumb. I got plenty of lives, though. The artwork for this game is so inaccurate. Yeah, I've got great artwork on the box, right, Jax? Symphony of Night music isn't uh, as enticing as other games. I've heard a couple of... I've heard it from, like, from some streams. So I've, I've heard bits and pieces of it, basically. I don't think I need to go down any further. I don't think that's going to get me where I need to be. We're going to find the diamond, I think, at some point anyway. I can't tell how many keys I have. I think I've only got one spade, which I've, I I think I need two. If it's the same as Loop 1, Symphony of the Night is definitely far from boring. It's not exactly... It, here's I've watched plenty of playthroughs of Symphony of the Night. It's way more boring than like Castlevania 3. Simply because Alucard's too powerful. He's just too dang powerful. It's more about exploration than a piece of shit, snake. So with the life farming tip, you don't need to cheat after all. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not! I didn't know that as a kid, though. 
I never tried it with that life farming thing, but it's in a Nintendo Power. That's where I remember finding it. So yeah, I used Game Genie back in the day when I didn't even need to. Assuming the night has more in common with Streets of Rage than Orchestra? I don't know. I'll have to play it sometime. I'm not really looking forward to it, though. I think I'm going to be bored with Symphony of the Night. I really am. Good. Perfect. Nice. Right back into the water. Trolley bullcrap. We have made some progress here, at least. We have made a little bit of progress. I'm going to try something crazy in a minute. I wonder if you can actually make it up with the balloon all the way up to the upper left corner. I really want to try that. Luck mode with Symphony Night and stats are shit and the game is harder. I bet it'd still be easy mode next to Castlevania 3, which is what I'm used to. I'm going to compare every Castlevania game from here to the end of time to Castlevania 3 because I think that's my favorite in the series so far. And I've done a run with Sypha, Alucard, Sypha only, Alucard only, Grant only, Trevor only, Whip only, Knife only, Staff only, Alucard no bat form only. I've done all that with Castlevania 3, so when I play Symphony of the Night, I'm going to be bored out of my skull because there's going to be no challenge at all. Because I've seen... You want to get some Castlevania challenge going? Loop 2. Alucard. No bat form. Alucard only. You're going to be hurting. You're going to feel some real pain. But you know what? I loved every second of it, and I'm sorry it's over because I had such a good time. Just keep moving. Keep moving. We're good. Symphony of the Night is a great soundtrack. I never got tired of listening to it. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure the music's great. But as far as the gameplay, it looks a little slow and boring to me. That's just me, though. I'm, I know, see, I have a weird opinion about Ocarina as well. I hate that game. I think that game's boring as hell. But there's people that love it, and they're excited by it. How? I don't know, but they are. All right, we just found a diamond. I don't know if this is going to help or not. I mean, unlock the door. Radical Lemur, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing good. There's an arcade game from Taito called Haley's Comet. It's a really good game being the one that all, uh, loves scrolling shooting games. So it's basically a shmup. <laughs> it's a shmup. An arcade shmup, no less. Because my last adventure with an arcade shmup of Gradius 2 went so well, right? I would be willing to look at it, though. Punch only, red rust only, red rust, no, no sub weapons. And all that would make it more interesting, yes. That would make Symphony of the Night more interesting, but all these super weapons and abilities that Alucard has, easy mode. Boring easy. He's too good. <laughs> you gotta find a way to make it interesting. Everything I've seen from Symphony of the Night just screams easy. And that's just not Castlevania to me. I don't want easy. I want it hardcore insanity. Or it's not Castlevania to me. Red Rust is awful. You're better off punching. Yeah, I don't know why, like, any of the items or anything. Alright, this is... Okay, we have a spade. We have a second spade. Alright, I gotta be looking for... Oh, I gotta be looking for hidden stuff. Kill the frog. Nice to catch you. Know there's an NES ROM hat remake of this, which em enhances the look of the game. Would you stream it? Uh, Kalaka Boy, welcome in. Yeah, I would be willing to give a look at that sometime. You know what's funny, though? I don't have a problem with the graphics in this game. It's silly and janky looking, but I kind of like that. It's kind of appealing. Haley Wars, the vertical scrolling shooter, released on the Famicom Computer Disk System 91 later on the Game Gear. Okay. I've never done a Game Gear game on stream. That would be completely new content for me as well as Game Gear. Anyone have a Game Gear growing up? A friend of mine did, and it just ran out of batteries over and over. Wasn't too impressive. I mean, the games were good, but we couldn't really do anything because it was always out of batteries. And his mom was like, we don't have money to keep putting in new AA batteries every two hours, so we never really played it. So that was the end of that. We'd go outside or play some NES or something like that, or some Sega Genesis. You name it. Alright, that's the bird we need to jump in. Yeah, the bird's a teleporter. If you don't know that, <laughs> well, good luck figuring it out then. All right, here we're going to... Do I even... I don't even think I need to be in here. I think this is just for farming lives. <laughs> now that I think about it, there's no reason to be here. That's all right. Thank you, Plabu. Dragon's Lair is done. Run number two was the magic run. I got to the dragon on, on run one, and guess what happened? I got the dagger, and I had no lives, so it turned into a disaster. But then I fixed it on loop two, and we got it. Oh, made it out. 
Got it out. The Game Gear took six AA batteries. Yeah, and that lasted all, what, an hour? So awful. That's what hurt that system. The Atari Lynx was the same thing. Anyone ever had the Nomad Goten? I wanted one terribly as a kid. Terribly. Because you could actually plug the actual Sega Genesis carts into it. I was like, dude, I could take Shining Force on the road. I could play Shining Force anywhere. But no, I never owned one, unfortunately. I wanted one badly. Play Streets of Rage 2 on the go. That was like one of the coolest systems ever. I'm surprised it didn't catch on more than it did, because that's an awesome... Co oh my god. Oh my god, I almost botched that up. That would have really sucked. I'd have done that entire part again. Alright, we're through that. Is there anything hidden in this section? There's got to be something. Oh, there's a diamond here. Thank goodness we didn't need that. Alright, is this going to be that? Uh, yep, yeah, it's going to be that again. Alright. No problem. Alright, I'm working my way through loop, too. This is hard to believe. There's one of the objectives right there. You have to have that to finish the game. This diamond. Got it. Alright. Alright, we're going to go down to the very bottom and see if there's anything down there. That's where the key used to be, so we're going to check it again and see if there's anything useful. It might be where the medicine is or something. But we got the diamond. You want to have a Turbo Express? I wanted that as well, Jax. Never had that. That's a Turbo Graphics handheld that you could actually plug the real games into, just like the Sega Nomad. That would have been great to own, unfortunately. Nope, I didn't. Uh, so many good things I didn't get to own, but you know what? I, I shouldn't complain because I had a Neo Geo as a kid, so I have no complaints. But as a kid, I was like, I wanted this, I wanted that. But no, I didn't get to have everything, but I had plenty. I wasn't suffering. I had a Neo Geo, a Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, NES, Game Boy. So, yeah, I was in good shape. Atari 2600. A good PC, a gaming PC later, later on. I like the installation of this game. Of course, I'm a Metroid freak. I would not like playing this game blind today. As far as, like, knowing absolutely nothing. But as, when I was a kid working through this, I had a lot of fun. That's for sure. But as far as a blind playthrough of this, I'm not sure I would recommend it. Unless you just really, really, really like Metroidvania type exploring. That was terrible. Now, yeah, it's glitchy. You can go through the wall in a lot of parts, too. We got 26 lives. I didn't even need to farm lives. I still would have, like, 8 lives now, I think, if I hadn't farmed any. So I think I would still be in good shape. Alright, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Can I just duck under it right here? Yeah, you can just duck under it. Wow, that's unreal. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, that was really awkward, but we survived. And there's another one up. See, I'm getting plenty of lives here. All right, now we're on to the this next section. Then we're going to go... Uh, find we have the key. All right, so the next part to go is over here. Dude, we might beat loop two of this if, if too many things don't change from here on out. Music in Castlevania Symphony Night was composed by Mishiru Yamani. The soundtrack contains elements from multiple music genres, including classical techno, gothic rock, new age jazz, and subgenres of metal, spe specifically elements of thrash metal. Citation needed. Oh, we I Am the Wind, vocal ending written by Rika uh, Muranaka and Tony Hayes, and performed by Cynthia Harrell. It's played during the credits. All right, well, so th they put in some work on Symphony of the Night, didn't they? They put in a lot of work on the game, too. I know it's a really good game. People get mad when I knock it, but I mean, it technically might not be a good game for me. But the with the quality of the game is high. No Life, what's going on, man? Guess what, No Life? Guess what? Singe is no more. He's dead. I got him. <laughs> He's dead! No more Dragon's Lair! Now we're working on Super Pitfall Loop 2. Already beat it, but we're working on Loop 2 now. No life, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it, man. I got Singe on the second run, if you can believe it. The first run, I got the dagger right at the end of the game. <laughs> and it all came crashing down. But after that, things clicked. Now Super Pitfall is uh, going fairly well, too. It's been a productive day, if you can believe it. Loot 2 Mentor to get a good ending? I don't know. I'm really wondering about that Yellow Freeze, because you don't really get an ending for Loop 1. So this is going to be new territory for me, because I never beat Loop 2 as a kid. I did with cheating, did Loop 1, but 
Yeah, some days you go through the rain, sometimes you dine on a tree frog. Yeah, like right there, there's a tree frog. Just gotta beat Singe with a dagger when that happens. I wouldn't mind trying. Just went right into the frog. Right into the freaking frog! Heavy Barrel! Now there's another game. Yeah, that's a, like a run and gun like Akari Warriors. I haven't played that yet, but I know what it is. God, beat Singe with the dagger. I'm gonna look at your video of that now, No Life, now that I've beaten him with the axe. I want to see him with the uh, with the dagger. I didn't think the Singe fight was all that hard. I still think the level before him in Dragon's Lair is worse than the actual dragon. I, I had so much trouble with that level. But the actual dragon himself, I don't think it's all that bad. Because there are a lot of people telling me, dude, this is the hardest boss you'll ever see. Eh, nah. I, I, not that bad, but like I said, I, I, my struggles with that game came on the level, not the boss. It was weird. Mixer tried to kiss the frog, but it didn't turn him into a princess. Prince, I, yeah, well, at least it's not Princess Peach, right? The trolling that went on with that in that previous game was nuts. Remember Rainbow Realms? Remember Peach? I don't sure for, I'm not forgiving that anytime soon. Singe with the dagger. I can't wait to see that. No life sounds absurd. I barely beat him. I did get him though, but it, it felt like it was close. Did you ever play Cabal on NES when you were younger? Pretty fun game. I, or is it Cable or Cabal? I do I remember renting it, I think, but it, I didn't get anywhere. Usually when I rented a game, I wasn't good enough to beat it. So the, the whole anti-rental industry thing, these corporate executives in their suits and stuff, I think they were a little out of line. Because most kids weren't beating a game on a first rental anyway. So yeah, let's make it like Battletoad so nobody's gonna beat it. And yeah, real nice. Real freaking nice. Game kicks my ass repetitively, wouldn't have it any other way. Contra Hardcore? I love Contra Hardcore. Great game, doing the obvious. Really, really high quality. Of course, why, I gotta stop doing that, but I don't know where items are, I'm searching. Still got plenty of lives, I didn't even need to farm lives, we're in good shape. But no, I've not played that. Star Tropics, that's another game I wanna play. We're gonna do that on stream at some point. How did I get hit? I was holding to the left. That's jank. It's really jank. Documentation that came with the game. Well, I have the game, but I don't have the manual for it, so that might be a problem. <laughs> Unless it's something you can look up on the internet. But yeah, I know about that little issue it's got. All right, that's where we're gonna jump into this bird. Hopefully the the lion that we have to rescue and the medicine are still in this world, because if they're not, I don't know where to go. Do you hate Dragon's Lair? No, I did not hate Dragon's Lair. I think it's a unique, interesting little game now that I've seen the whole thing and know how to play it. I don't hate it. Absolutely not. Now, the European version, what I'm, what I'm told of Dragon's Lair, is much better than the U.S. version. The U.S. version's got a severe lag problem, but the European version I don't think has that problem. So, yep, I'm going to check that one out, probably off-stream or something, just to mess around with. Down to one up, that's good. That's good. I don't even know why I bothered farming lives. I don't think we're going to even need them. And I'm dead again. Well, dead again. Didn't like Star Tropics controls at all. I've heard it's got rough controls. I've seen it played a couple of times, but I haven't jumped right into Star Tropics yet because I've watched two friends of mine stream it fairly recently. So I want to try and forget like everything about the game before I go into it. And then once that happens, yep, we're going all in. I watch Wolfmaster and Hungry Gorilla stream Star Tropics and great looking game that I think I'm going to enjoy. But not for a while longer. I got to forget more stuff. Bucky O'Hare on the NES. Good game. Really good game. And dead again. Making stupid jumps. But I like Bucky O'Hare. I've done that one. It's hard but fun. Alien Soldier Grunt. What do you think about that one? Do you like that? I've been recommended Alien Soldier. What do you think about it? think it'd be a fun stream. I know I've heard it's quite hard. Good shot on the snake. All right, we need more where that came from. I can get lives back by just picking up gold and stuff. That will help. Star Tropics 2 has eight-way movement. Jumping is different. That's a good one, too. Yep, yeah, we'll do that one as well. More, always looking for more games to play. This is such bullshit. <laughs> this is so dumb right now. This is incredibly dumb. Hardcore is one of the most mechanically demanding games on the Genesis. Looks great, sounds great, handles like a dream. It's awesome. It is awesome. No complaints about that one. 
In fact, I would really like to do another run of Hardcore, because when I streamed Hardcore, that was almost like two years ago, and I beat it with Brownie, but I want to beat it with the other characters, too. And Brownie's in front of me, I told the easiest character to beat it with. So, yep. Harder! Spuddy Christ! Uh, Noah's Ark! No, I've not played any of the Bible Adventures games, but I'm willing to give them a shot, because some of them actually look funny. <laughs> like the uh, the Noah's... Uh, Super, no, not no, it's Super Noah's Ark 3D. That's on Super Nintendo. But the uh, the one where you can drop baby Moses in the River Nile or whatever, I kind of want to play that. That looks fun. It doesn't look too jank. It just looks kind of funny. Brownie is the best character to, do the, to learn the game. Yep, that was me. I beat him. I beat him with Brownie, but yeah, from what I understand, the other characters are much harder to do that with. Sheena and Ray are tied in terms of damage output and toolkit. They have similar jump height, slide, slide length, and hitboxes. Yeah, but Sheena's got a terrible scream when she dies. I remember that. I remember testing out the characters, and I was like, oh, this brownie guy's got a double jump. Obviously, that's what we need. Jekyll and Hyde, done that one. I didn't get the good ending in Jekyll and Hyde, but I've got the bad ending. I kind of want to do it again to get the good ending. In fact, we tried to get the good ending. The game glitched on me, and I wasn't able to finish it. So we'll be back to that one at some point. Now, playing as Fang in uh, Contra Hardcore is, I think, the hardest character because he's big. He's a big hitbox. Bible Adventures, not jank. No, not too bad, Rob, from what I've seen of it. Not too bad. Much better than something like Gradius 2. Not anywhere close to comparing, right? Yeah, I'll go with that. More bullets. Not a Bible game. It's a platform game. Oh, well, some of them are. There is some platforming. V-Dig, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Welcome to Super Pitfall. We're working on Loop 2. We already beat this. Now it's Loop 2 time. We're looking for hidden stuff. That's what you do in this. You look for hidden stuff by jumping. So interesting. How you doing today, man? Welcome in. Alien Soldier definitely needs to be played. I'm kind of intimidated by that a little bit from what I've heard, but that's okay, too. Should be good. Gym Adventures from Virtual Hide Lie? Yeah, Plabu. I'll probably end up doing it at some point. This is where the medicine was on the last run. It looks like they it's not in this one. So, yeah, it's, it, it's either in this section somewhere or it's in a completely different area of the game. And if that's the case, I might be screwed. How's one win this game? Nova, you have to... There's a specific set of things you need to beat this game. You need the key to unlock the pit, Pitfall's Lion Friend. You need to find the diamond. And then you need to find the medicine. And then you need to find uh, Pitfall's daughter or niece or somebody. And once you do all that stuff, then you can beat the game. Only then. So there's many steps you have to take to beat this one. Doing well, I am so frustrated at first. But not because of reasons that Super Pitfall is guilty of. I kind of like this game. <laughs> Perfect challenge for Mixer would be Gym Power. I've not heard of Gym Power. What kind of game is that? I like this game, though. Yeah, a lot of you guys are putting this game down. I, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> I think it's kind of fun. The, the searching is a bit of a pain, yes. But, like I said, way worse games than this one. All right, well, at least we're going to... Oh, the, they put the medicine on the other side of the wall. Okay, well, at least it's here. Now I know where it is. All right, that's a big deal. I hope the lion guy is down here, because if he's not, I don't know where to start looking for him. He, at least he's still there. That's basically Bubsy, right? Somebody call 911! <laughs> All right, we found Bubsy. All right, now nah, you get the hell out of here. Ghouls and Ghosts, have you done that? Yep, done all the Ghosts and Goblins games. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghouls and Ghosts on Genesis, Ghouls and Ghosts Arcade, Ghosts and Goblins Arcade, NES done all of them. I'd love the Ghosts and Goblins series. Actually, some of my favorite games. And I've done Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, too, which is the new one, which is psychotically hard on Legend. Done that one as well. Really fun. Fun, but kid man, no chance to figure out how to clear even loop one. The anniversary ROM hack fixes a good chunk of the game. I'll have to look at that. I want to see how it compares. This game got thrown out my house window. Pharaoh Man, what's up? I like janky games. <laughs> I like overcoming these types of games. I think it's a lot of fun. We just beat Dragon's Lair as well, and we're working on this. We're making some progress here. It's a loop two. We've already beaten this game once. NES GNG Mixer reached loop 12. I miss that, Plavu. I miss it very much. That was some of my favorite streams. 
Sega Master System Ghouls, Ghouls and Ghosts? Yep, did that one too. It's like RPG-ish. It's weird. Like you get uh, armor upgrades and stuff that give you hit points, better jump speed, all kinds of stuff. That is a very, very interesting Ghosts and Goblins game. This is the easiest of all of them, but I still think it's fun. I liked it. What'd you think about it, Grunt? Jim Power Euro Run and Gun Platformer. Okay, I've never heard of it before. You ready for Shadow of the Beast? Shadow of the Beast? Let me write that down. Shadow of the Beast. I will add that to my list. Sounds good. Always looking for more games. My reaction was switching to a different game. That's how I felt when I was playing Gradius 2 and Ocarina of Time. That's how I felt about those. See, um, a lot of people were like, yeah, Pitfall 2 sucks. For me, it's Ocarina. Yeah, I'll play that uh, Shadow of the Beast. That sounds good. Is there anything up here? There's got to be something up here. There's nothing here. Can't wait for Space Goals where Mix will be a bird. There's another game where we can be a bird, too. Eight Eyes on the N NES and Nintendo Entertainment Systems. like Castlevania, except guess what? You get to play as the bird as well as the guy that controls it. It's like if Simon Belmont had a bird and like a little sword, that would be eight eyes. Oh, bullshit. Big ass frights and super fast. All right. Sounds good. The hack that cleans up this game a lot. I want to check it out. Yep, that's what I've been told, Pharaoh, man. That's what I've been told, but nope, this is not the ROM hack of this. This is the, the original janky version, but I had this as a kid, so I'm kind of familiar with it. Ragey Poo, what's going on? Thank you for the good luck. Working on Loop 2, man. Progress is happening. All right, now if the girl is in the same place in the undead place, then I, I think we're going to be pretty good down here. I think we're going to be in good shape. And then I'm going to have to do that escape sequence again. But should be able to do it. Shadow of the Beast is going to be on my list, NES Atlas, for sure. Ocarina of Time is not age well. Mostly the combat leaves a lot to be desired. My problem with Ocarina was that it was just boring. And I got stuck, of course, too. But I, I thought the game was dreadfully boring. There was not enough stuff to fight to keep me interested. I felt like I was just roaming around. There was nothing going on in between. Okay, there's more guns. I got 144 bullets. I think we can do this. I think we can. Mighty Bomb Jack. I played that before. That's a good game. I like that. That's. You know what? I went down here last time. This is what we're going to do again. We're going to take the same path I did last time and hope for the best. Hopefully the girl is in the same spot. I'm assuming she might be. I have not done anything on Amiga yet. That's one system I've never streamed. But there's a... Wow, we're finding all kinds of good stuff down here. Eight eyes. Yeah, the sword is short from what I understand. How did I die, dude? I just died randomly. What kind of bullshit does this game pull? Lots. Wow. Ocarina is all about roaming around, not quite rolling around at the speed of sound. That's why I hated it, man. I was bored. Give me enemies to fight. The, the small times I got to do combat in Ocarina, I was ha actually having some fun. Like when you fight the Skeleton Knights, the Stalfos or whatever, I was having some fun. And then th the fight would end, then it'd be back to another two hours of roaming where I didn't get to really fight anything again. It was the worst kind of experience for me. I hated it. And no, I'm not skipping out on it. We're going to play it on stream. I don't want to, but I will. Don't that frog guy, damn frog, you don't get any fun. I'm, I'm having fun today. We're playing this and we're playing Dragon's Lair. Both are fun. Guy from Red Bank, what's going on? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. We're making some progress here, slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley. I, I just got so bored with Ocarina and I got stuck. It was a double whammy of bad for me. I think this goes to where we need to be, or I could be wrong. Oh, more points, good. Always need more points. Ocarina is okay, it's about open world exploration. Sparse about combat, a lot of the enemies don't really get well with the lock on combat. I, it just wasn't for me. No fun, boring. I need more action than what that game was providing. I hope the girl's up here. If she's not, we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> I'm not even gonna know where to begin to look. So far, this has not been that bad. All right, don't fall off the ladder. She here? She's here. All right, good. 
All right, let's get the hell out of here. We gotta do the jank jumpy thing again in a minute. No! Oh! Crap! All right. Temper is the fact that I prefer my Zelda titles are different because I can be Zelda 2, Majora's Mask, and Wind Waker are my favorites. Wind Waker looks nice. Even though it is 3D, it looks nice. Majora's Mask looks absolutely horrible simply because it reminds me of Ocarina so much. It might be completely different. I shouldn't judge it yet. But Ocarina. Yeah, just, just keep that away. Yeah, we got... Jesus. <laughs> At least I got plenty of lives. I farmed 20 lives and I didn't even need them, I don't think. Wind Waker is fantastic. I'll try it at some point. Won't be a stream game. It'll definitely be an off-stream game. I would get more out of it by playing it off-stream. Can't wait until I reach 100 million so I can shut the stream down at the right moment. Well, if you reach that many points, it's you're free to do so at any moment. No matter what I'm doing in the game, you can ruin my life. I feel most Western retro games are all about graphics. Gameplay was usually dr janky. I guess it depended on the game. Most of the original retro games were Japanese, and they were freaking awesome. Mario, Castlevania, Mega Man, you know the deal. Give it a try sometime when George's Mask is refreshingly different. I might do it sometime. I'm probably not on stream, but off stream, I, if I get through Ocarina, which we will do on stream, because everybody's going to keep asking for that until it finally happens. All right, got to get out of this again. I'm assuming we go back to the beginning, and that's going to end it. All right, grab the thing. I can't believe I'm doing loop two with it. No! What kind of jank is that? Oh, are you kidding? Oh my god, I fell through the floor! Good collision detection in this game. Just mind-bogglingly stupid. If you don't like Ocarina, I doubt you'll like Majora's Mask. That's what I was thinking. I like janky games like this. I do. I, I honest to God do. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to where we were. I fell through the floor. That wasn't my fault. Vanilla! What's going on, Vanilla? How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. We beat Dragon's Lair, and now we're about to beat Loop 2 of Super Pitfalls. So there's some good stuff going on today. It's surprisingly productive. Unlike the Saturday stream where I spent seven hours in Dragon's Lair and did not did not finish, but today we did. Only took about an hour. Straight run to Ganon on Breath of the Wild. I've never played Breath of the Wild, but from what I've looked at on it, it looks pretty decent. It looks like it fixes a lot of the issue I had with Ocarina. There's The exploration is actually rewarding, and there's more combat. That's all I wanted. How was Dragon's Lair? Finished it in the second attempt today, Guy from Red Bank. Shockingly enough. I can't believe it, but it happened. Super glitch fall, I know, right? That was jank. All right, this is like the worst part of the game here. This is the worst. It's so bad. So freaking bad. Breath of the Wild, you can go straight to the final boss early on if you dare. Yeah, it's like complete open world, right? It looks kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I, I think I would like that more than like a Dark Souls or Eldren Ring or any of that stuff. Breath of the Wild. See, Vanilla's here. Vanilla told me, explained in detail about Breath of the Wild. And from what I from what I was hearing, it sounds pretty good. No complaints. We're, we almost are out of here already. We're almost out of here. Yeah, similar to the first Zelda game. That's what I like the sound of. No, you can't duck under that. Whoops, well, I tried. Have you tried TMNT Manhattan Project? Yeah, I've done a one credit clear of that one with Donatello. Really good game. Really good game. We might be on the verge of beating this, by the way. We might be very close. Is the exit here? The exit's still here. Good. <laughs> All right, so most of Loop 2 is pretty similar. All right, so we're, we might finish right here. This could be the... Really? What if that had been my last life? That would have been hilarious. Only pitfall games I know was the Atari, and I started seeing a couple of people play this one. This one's kind of worse than those in a way, J-Dog, but nostalgic to me, simply because I had it as a kid. All right, is this going to be the end? That's going to be the end. We're not doing another world! That's enough worlds! That's loops one and two. I'm not please trying another world. No, done. Done. I thought we would get a better ending or something. Guess what? We didn't. Mm-mm. No, this is done. This is done.
No, no loop three. I, I'm turning it off now. Let me see wh wh if there's an item in the same spot. Let's see if it's a repeat of loop two. We can see real quick. Just by going over here. I don't think you officially beat this game. Oh, two loops is not beating the game, club. Right. <laughs> two loops isn't enough. No loop three. No. I'm going to see if it's the same, though. Let's see if there's a, the items here. Yep, it's the same as loop two. All right. There's no reason to continue onward. That's exactly how Loop 2 was as well. All right. See, that wasn't in Loop 1, but they're keeping it in Loop 2. There is not another world. We, we're done. We're done. You get the super special item if you do Loop 3. All right, well, let me know how it goes because I'm not doing it. I, that's enough. That is more than enough. <laughs> it says you completed the level in the caverns. That's enough. I'm done. And now we're going to do... Now, what time is it, by the way? It's 3.30. we got time for a challenge run of Double Dragon 3. Going to try one credit clear of Double Dragon 3. I'm going to work towards a deathless run of this game. Because I like this game. A lot of people hate this one. I like this. So this is going to be a one credit clear attempt for this game. One CC. Let's try it. See what we can do. Thanks for the GGs. We're done with Super Pitfall. I don't know what else I can do with this game at this point. But let's do some Double Dragon 3, and then we'll call it a day. This has been more productive than I thought it would be today, honestly. I haven't played this in a while, and I beat all the other Double Dragons deathless, so I kind of want to do this one deathless 